Good morning, people. Back with a bit of No Man's Sky. Been enjoying this game lately. It's kind of nostalgic. There is new stuff to do. There's always the same old interesting grinding and exploring. I've started a wondrous aquarium on my freighter. I kind of like it. It's going to be a work in progress though. It's going to take a while to collect everything you need and unlock all the build pieces. And here we are. Home sweet home. You get that hub turned off whilst everything loads in. Look at my little plants. I wonder why this one's glowing hot and this one is... That's a bit strange. I don't think it was like that yesterday. Ah, I was trying to sort some electricity on this door. I couldn't get it to bloody work. Also, it seems like I can't get rid of the wires. Uh Come on, are you telling me I can't get rid of this? Let's get rid of those for now. I wonder why that is glowing hot. I'm sure it wasn't like that yesterday. It's kind of interesting though. Right, where do we begin, frigates? We call the rest of the frigates. Pete, Pete is back. Anything interesting? Not particularly. Beat. Bit like Laster. Bring me some frigate modules or something useful. Oh, wrong one. Nothing seems to be broken at least. It's always a good sign. Getting loads of money now. Our money woes are over, apparently. Of a few of these bits and bobs. Yeah, I'm just going to sell this stuff. Can't be bothered to process it anymore. We're trying to do the Atlas quest because apparently there's new multi tools or new multi tool technologies that seem a bit interesting. I'll slowly work towards that. Chunk of preserved silk. Hmm. Something to swap. We'll keep hold of it. And let's just tidy up a little bit. So ingredient storage. Let's just dump some stuff into ingredient storage. Creature pellets, eh? of all the meats. Lots of creature pellet reserves. I like it. Right, what else? What else? Send the frigates out for the day? Let's start with this three-star mission. Do have a combat organic the heartless Anna. Let's send you and you with the support. Or stuff that should do. And we've got two discoveries. Pete is the explorer. Pete is the explorer. With another explorer, another explorer, and another explorer. Nice. Oh, we have another exploring one. Oh dear. Then the support. Okay, just about good enough. 
Industrial? Pretty sure Smokey is industrial. Doesn't have the best of stats though. Probably could do with feeding him, to be honest. Five star. And a balanced. Oh my. Need them all to get trained. Only two star. God, it's not the best of balance, is it? Ugh, they need training. I'll send them anyway. Right. What next? I do like how these trees have turned out as lightings. That's really nice, actually. We also have my aquarium collection. It's a work in progress. I'm planning to redesign this whole thing at some point. But for now, I'll just collect them. Right, uh, settlement, I guess. Let's get that job done. It's like shame I couldn't build the small teleporter on the freighter. I thought I'd be able to do that, but no. I'm heading towards night shifts at the moment. My sleep pattern's all over the place. That's why I feel tired, and I don't want to think about two things too much. I was thinking about potentially starting a planet craft to play through, but ugh, it's too much thought process. I'll hold that for another time. Right. Settlement here. Let's see if there's any jobs to do. Oh god, it's really laggy today. A citizen dispute, but it doesn't really seem to tell me anything. Fine, whatever. Is that everything? Gazillion Gecknips. I'll leave these here for now, I think. I don't think there's anything else building. So a quick look around. Make sure. All looks okay, doesn't it? Okay, settlement done, I guess. Do I need to go to any of the mines? I don't think so. Let's head back to the freighter for a second. So don't forget, we've done settlement. I don't really need to do Sentinel Loop. Don't seemingly need to do any mining stuff. And then we just go out and explore. Probably. Hmm. We need to get frigate modules and unlock rest of building pieces so that I can go ham. Build this build. And find more wonders. So, I guess let's go exploring. Now, given that I'm building a aquarium, I kind of need water planets with rare fish and preferably no underground creatures. Preferably blue water because it's prettier. Preferably not frost planets. We're also heading and trying to do. At this path. Do I have the latest ones? I've got this one here. Alright, looks like we're up to date with that. So I guess let's walk to Atlas Pass system. Which it's miles away? I'm on free explore. Atlas station. Is the quest up? Wait. Was that a green lush moon that I didn't visit yet? That I wanted to. It is a green lush moon that I wanted to visit. Okay, let's go there. It looks like the kind of green color that I quite like. 
Was the creature table bed? There's a rare underground. I think I want to do a flyby and see if it's the green I like. I've got this mod on which reduces the lines as we pulse. Although it's still got these lines. I didn't realise it had any lines, but it seems to be. I have to speak to Pete about it, because he's the one that recommended it to me. And that looks like a nice green. Let's go to the light side. This is what I call a royal green lash. Let's have a look. Really wanted to have good trees. Looks like it has trees. Not the best looking trees. Kind of brown colour. There's a cave here. Fine, we'll have a look around. Why not? We're here now. Oh, there's a ball hauler. I'm looking for a blue ball hauler with blue lights to scrap the hauler parts because I want to build a custom glowing hauler. It's not glowing, unfortunately. I don't particularly like the ball haulers, but I do like the glowing blue lights. Extreme Sentinel Planet, what have I done to myself? Do I still build plants? I probably buy plants. I probably should. I still don't have plant farm unlocked. Just saw a womp. Skin the bad boy. It's going to be slightly awkward collecting wonders now when I want to collect aquatic creatures for my space aquarium. What do I do with all the other amazing discoveries? Wait, I, I wasn't at full health. Let's have up in health. Don't know how I wasn't at full health. Probably I never got to full health after getting an upgrade. Let's just do a bit of shopping. Now there's still some custom ships I want to build, including an X-Wing Explorer. I've not found any to scrap yet. And I'd like to make a little Explorer with diddly wings. And I would like to make a blue glowing ball hauler. Those are the things I'm thinking of at the moment. Just need to find the ships with those parts, I guess. We make enough money to buy them all. Now let's go have a look in the cave. Still looking for hot spots every now and again. I'm sure I saw some cave ground when we were landing, didn't we? Don't see it. Over there. See if we get lucky. With the rare cave creature. Doesn't look promising, does it? Do a little bit more shopping, maybe. Hello, Super Gek. Yeah, until I build some farms, we're only getting dribbles of the flowers. Might be able to build a lubricant. Wait, is here. Can I build a lubricant? Can. Which means I can build a living glass. Which means I can build a chamber. Which means I can build a stasis device. Damn, son. The 
Okay, success. But let's have a quick look at this cave, see if anything spawns. Or not. Keep shopping. Now, is there a world where I should be buying S-Class ships to scrap them for storage augments? There is a world. Is there a world I should be buying A-Class ships to scrap for storage augments? 22 million units. How much money do we have these days? We don't really have enough money to do that. Try and find some cheap ones. Twenty two million units hmm. for what probable storage augment. How much is it costing me for a storage slot these days? Tell you what, I'm going to do it this time. Right, let's have a quick look. This is the cave creature here. Come on, one time. I feel like it's probably not going to be here. Surely we would see it. Hmm. Are you an actual cave? Okay, never mind. This this sucked. Let's just go out exploring, see if we can find the rest of the creatures. What are we actually missing? One, two, three, three grounds, one underground. Oh, well, they got that one. How many people playing first person? I'm always playing th third person these days. I don't quite know why, to be honest. It's a shame that the, the trees are this drab. I find that the trees really do make a planet. It's the color variety and the texture variety that I really like. Because the grass is gorgeous, but the trees are not. We should have come up with all these funky ranking systems for planets. Never got it consistent, though. I feel like trees should be a big score. In planetary quality rating. Now, this is a cave. This is exactly the kind of cave I'd like to see. Can I hear something? Was it above me? Hmm. Is this a cave worthy of a reload check? Probably. Do I like doing reload checks? Not really. However, do I believe in reload checks? Kind of. This is such a good cave. Right, let's do a reload check. This is a return to mode select, load in kind of reload check. Where we hope it refreshes our luck. And the cave creature spawns in. I think you still have to be in a cave where it can spawn in. Good morning, Alex. Journey to Yorkshire delayed 24 hours due to unforeseen circumstances. I would say that's a good thing because you're here now. But probably you would rather not be delayed. Let's turn that back off.
I noticed you'd been playing some No Man's Sky. What are you up to? The daily events. Yeah, this reload check doesn't seem to have done anything at the moment, does it? Maybe this cave isn't as good as it, I thought it was. There's too much kind of ground to run in here. Hello. Okay. I thought it was a good cave. Try to reload. Still no creature. Guess we head out of here. I can hear a creature, but I'm pretty sure it's of ground. Can you guys hear that? I'm stomping around. Yeah, it's you. Hello, buddy. That's what I thought. Teasing me, making me think there's a creature here. Just a friendly womp, stomping. And we could make this into a wonder. Then I could build these things. Do I want to do that? We could have a wondrous mineral category. Try and find the most pretty mineral. Might have already started a category. Let's have a quick look. The problem is I really want to get like at least 10 fish or so. There's my plant, so I can't get rid of that. There's my fish, so I can't get rid of that. A lavender plant, don't want to get rid of that. Oh god, this is terribly... You're going to have to go? That's not what I wanted to do. I want to add the wonder. Right, you're going to be a temporary mineral wonder. Instead of this guy. Because I want to play around with you. Hey Pete, how you doing buddy? Welcome to this stormy planet where we can hardly see a thing. And I have temporarily got an invisibility shield. Why hello T-Rex. Is it a good T-Rex? I've lost him already. He might be good. Bird Rex. I'm not quite so keen on the bird. Bird Rexes. Nice to see them all eating together though. I've, I've really done myself there. I've landed on a rare cave creature planet because I was seduced by the royal green grass in this double extreme hellhole with crap trees. But hey ho, here we are. The admin pearls? Not really interested. So a quick scan for a hot spot. No good. So I'm still missing rare underground. Still missing quite a lot on two grounds. You're one of them. Oh god, I'm just trying to scan a creature for god's sake. I see quite a lot of creatures all over the place. I seem to have them all. I hate this storm. I really hate lush storms. Did I tell you that? It, this is terrible visibility. Why is it always the same terrible visibility? Because it's storming, yes. Storming in the night time. Oh god, it's a blob. It's quite the blob actually. 
quite the damn blob. 4.5 meters, eh? Can you guys leave me alone? Oh, look, there's the other T Rex. What an ugly fellow. There is one ugly T Rex. Goodness gracious me. Right, storm is clearing, thank God. What's the time actually? B50. Crack of dawn will be happening soon. I'm walking back to the trade platform. I purchased a new ship to scrap. I feel like I've overspaid paid. I should probably buy small A class ships. I think the size of the ship doesn't massively affect your chances to get storage augments. Is that true? Maybe that's not true. But maybe it's true. Just the class of the ship seems to give you better chance for augments. Maybe a big ship with a big class gives you better chance. Didn't I land my ship here initially? My other ship? I must have done, no? I reloaded. I reloaded. Okay. I can't switch ships here, can I? Let's just fly around and see if we can find... a building with a cave. For my cave creature. Or landed a cave? That's got to be a cave, surely. Seriously? Literally invisible. Come on, cave creature. Oh my. Another decent cave. I have to say the caves we're finding aren't that bad. Probably worthy of another reload check. Hmm. Hello? things again, but I think it's outside again. Right, let's try another reload check. See if I can ever get this thing to work. Mood select. Why did I end up on a planet with no rare fish? Because I was seduced by royal green lush moon. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Note to self. I haven't actually done any of the auto fade stuff. I literally don't know how to get there or what to do. But I suppose eventually that's something we should be doing. I guess I'll focus on the Atlas quest for now. It's literally just the cave creature we're missing now, isn't it? Of course it is. Come on, reload check for the win. Mine flowers check. Marrow for my marrow bio collection. Perhaps I should make some marrow bio collection. I remember back in the day you needed marrow for building stuff because I needed a butt ton of it when I did my journey through the galaxies. I literally spent days and days mining marrow in caves. Calculated how much I needed. And we literally got a blood, like whole boxfuls full of it. 
Okay, we really check didn't work. Perhaps the mechanic it just doesn't work. Well, that's probably not true. I mean, it probably still needs the creature to be available at these precise coordinates, which may or may not be true. But let's say it's not true. Now, I could warp one system away with this ship and then go scrap it. Although we can switch ships in the space station these days, can't we? That's true, actually. A building! Do you have a cave? The world's tiniest cave terrain, but okay, let's have a check. Why, well, hello, big boy. How mighty big of you. Not scary at all. Come on, cave creature, show yourself. Tiny cave entrance. It's not here, is it? give up on the cave creature hunting. I'm probably not going to go to many planets with caves on because usually I'll be avoiding them. Unless it's got a royal green moon lash then it's just you have to have a look. You just have to. This could have been an amazing planet. Turns out it wasn't. Mainly the trees are a big letdown. Ah, an outpost eh? May need Artemis Atlas and Settlement. Blue Minotaur. I think I've done the Sentry Drone quest. I don't know if it's completed. But we got the Sentinel Drone, so I guess. How many quests are there? God. This equals first. Settlement first quest. So I've probably done the settlement quests. I probably haven't done the Artemis quests. Or well, I've done bits of it, but probably not very much. Stasis face for 0.3%. That's not good enough. Want better press than that. Not giving these things away. This place was a load of rubbish. Ah, my savvy datas desperately need these things. I'm being a bit lazy and not digging them lately. Dude, I'm just trying to get my savage datas. Come on. Yeah, okay, okay. There's no cave here, is there? Damn it. I also can't fly away because I'm under attack. Damn it. We'll wait it out in the building, probably. Hope the music isn't broken. Right, what can I sort out? Not very much. Can I make anything? Acid. Which turns into... Liquid explosive. Which turns into... Portable reactor, which turns into green igniter, but I'm out of quantum processors. Okay. Step in the right direction. I now have six frigate modules to spend. I think I need ten or eight for the next hyperdrive for green systems. My next priority. Are we good? I'm going to still try and find this cave creature. Can't help myself. Why, well, hello, potential crash ship. No, what is this? Autophage quest line that I don't know anything about? I actually like that I don't know anything about. I'm unspoiled, and I literally don't know what I'm doing, 
and we're doing it headless. And then eventually... Why do they always want Antlentidium? Is there any point in me giving in this? I do have some of my freighter. Stop it! Busy! As far as I know, giving him stuff doesn't seem to do anything. The 17th. When, what What was the point of that? Why, hello, cave creature. Pleased to meet you. Easiest cave creature of my whole entire life. Now I need to hide. And the dastardly sentinels that want to eat me alive. Right. Get my nine knights. Who's creature of the planet then? Definitely not you. Definitely not you. Uh, definitely not you. Definitely not you. This boy. This boy is the creature of the planet. Congratulations. Right, let's get out of here. Wait. Are they still after me? Am I free? Are we good? We're not good. Oh, you bastards. I kind of need to switch ships anyway. I should probably spend some time and just go fix all my ships to scrap and just get rid of them, to be honest. I keep putting it off. Let's see if it'll let me summon my ship. Right, there we go. We are invisible. Right. Was that worth it? Definitely not. But I do have some extra nanites. Right, so let's try and get to next Atlas system. Wait, am I in it? I'm in the old Atlas system. Wait. Why have I got the Atlas quest marker here? Did I not go to the Atlas station here? I'm slightly confused. I'm the wrong one. Locate the next Atlas station. Is it pointing? Ah, the next Atlas station. Let's go do this. Hello, Caroline, how are you doing? One of the milestones for the autophage is to have fed X amount to those lost autophage. Will I be getting that achievement now, or does it not count until you've actually activated the quest? Am I wasting my time? Right, I definitely want my freighter here. And I think I've crafted what I need. What if I haven't? I've only got these three anyway. Unless I haven't ac activated it. Hmm. Smart loot? I can't smart loot. I wish you could smart loot as you were doing stuff. It's slightly annoying that you have to be like on your freighter to smart loot. Or on your base or whatever. This looks different. Have they changed this? It doesn't normally have a fractured eye like that, did it? Have they changed the animation? Has it been this long since I've done the Atlas quest? Probably. I don't remember this one. I don't think I normally do the Atlas quest. That's the thing. I just ignore it. But I want the new fancy multi tool, which gives me infinite cloak. I comply. Dark matter, hey? Oh my. I want one. I consumed the other one. Consume the other one. It consume the other one. I want them all. This is what I'm talking about. Just started teaching myself to mod so I can write a mod to add pages to our wonders. Wow, I will take that. If you make a mod that means we can do extra wonders. That would be amazing. I didn't know you were so 
computer literate. That's amazing. People just casually saying, ah, I'm just teaching myself to mod. So I can make this thing happen that we want. That is like insane. Ouch. Right, I'm in a new system. Probably means we want to scan the system. Let's go to the space station. I'm being a bit lazy lately and I'm not going to the space stations. I'm getting into that bad habit. But actually, I still need to like stack missions and get suit slots and get guild rewards and just scrap shit. There's still stuff to do in the space stations. I must admit, the procedural of the designs of the space stations don't really seem to be hitting that interesting spot for me. I haven't seen a space station that's like, oh my god, this is amazing. I don't know why that is. Because they are different and varied. I don't know. I guess I just don't care about space stations that much. And in missions. Predator. Predator? Predator. No, 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 no. Don't want any of those. What I do want is to swap ships to something I can scrap. Most of them are broken though. I need to go... Is this my sentinel ship? That's the one we bought for 22 million. That definitely wasn't worth it. But do I get guaranteed storage augment for this? In salvage. Claim scrap. Right, we spent 22 million, I get 9 million back. So, really I spent 11 million. Did I get a storage augment? I got one storage augment. Okay. Can I scrap this one? Claim scrap. I can. Doesn't have any modules I want. Do I like the... the is it got a bubble cockpit? Crap. Maybe it does. Let me just have a look. Do I like this cockpit? Because I actually need to still be collecting parts. Will it get these things? I don't really want these things. I guess let's test it and find out. I actually don't know what my favourite bubble cockpit is at the moment. There seems to be quite a lot of them. They're only very subtly different. Kind of surprised it's only 4 million worth of scrap. It's quite a big explorer, isn't it? Right, I want the hull. What did it give me? This one? B. Got these on my freighter. I have a D. I already have a D. Damn it. Okay. Interesting. Do I have any other ships I can scrap? This one's damaged. Send a little ship. Let's give it to that bad boy. Eighteen million units. God's sake. Broken. I swear the Sentinel ships are the easiest way to make money early game for Grim Death players. Like, imagine me just getting that early game. 18 million units right off the bat. That's insane. Right, so I've got one explorer that is critically damaged that I need to repair. That can wait, I suppose. Let's sell the, the crap. Days advice. Bad price. Not interested. Got too much crap on me. Starship AI Valves for 12 million units. Get rid of you. And you. And you. 
And that's everything, apparently. Get the treasure to switch. Right. So I've got one storage augment. So I basically spent 11 million units to get a, a ship slot. How much is it costing me these days? 36 million units. So I made a profit. And I've got an extra tech slot. I should be doing that more often, I think. We're going to have to start investing into A-class ships. Let me see. Cheap ones. Hello, Zenith. How are you doing? The new job doesn't start till Wednesday, so you've got a bit of time to play. Nice. Because there isn't one I checked, so no option but to try and write it myself. Well, let, let us know how it works. I mean, I can't even imagine how you... I wouldn't know where to begin. If you get it working, I will try it out for sure. Right. I want free fuel. Yes, I do. Of course I do. Do I get the platinum? I guess I get the platinum until I've got a healthy supply. I don't even know what I need it for, but whatever. Take the hot ice. And take the living glass. I will donate. I have, of course. And the module expansion shirts. Oh, you bastards. Do I do this? He's actually quite useful. No, 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 no. Those are too valuable. Even the service datas are too valuable. Forget it. I'll find another way to buff you. Right. Oh, multi tools. Suit slot. I knew I was forgetting something. C class. Not interested. Better than C class? A class. Not really interested. Surely that's my final suit slot coming up. Right, we are in the Atlas system. We've been to the Atlas. We've crafted the Atlas thing. I guess I should have teleported to my freighter. A this system scan? Wait. Need to find a new freighter that I like the design of. Ugh, future me problem. Oh, come on. If you get it working on a test save, yeah, I guess. I mean, the biggest problem with these mods, I guess, is not necessarily getting it to work even, but making sure it doesn't break the game. Having said that, but no clue how, how would you do it like it's not that simple is it because there's no ability in the game to create an extra page in the log if you find a way to do that that would be pretty amazing right why did I come here planetary scan Anything worth going on. So I'm particularly interested in... What am I interested in? Easy creature tables. And... Rare fish. Rare fish. No rare fish. Not interested. Easy creature table? Although there's a northern ground. I'm not that interested though, is it? Cactus planet. Do I go to a planet just because of the creature table? I suppose if I'm looking for rare fish, we should try and find water planets. Yeah, let's, let's skip this one. Let's go to the next Atlas station. I want easy creature table plus something. Don't quite know plus what. No free slots in ship inventory? What's that all about? Go find some nice shielded ball hauler wings. Yes, I want to get that eventually. 
I haven't seen one yet. I mean, I haven't been actively looking, I suppose. I'm hoping it'll just randomly happen at some point. Flying around a system, walking around, we casually see the ship in the sky and then go procure it. I don't really have that much money though for hula shopping. Platinum? I didn't send my freighter. That's slightly annoying actually. Did I craft what? I crafted the dark matter, didn't I? Oh my, I do remember these guys. Floating men in the sky. They changed. Well, how long ago did they change this? Because it didn't used to be like this. But now it's coming back to me. I do remember these. Is that supposed to be Kovacs, Gek, and Viking? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Well, hello. I can't read all of this. I have my milestone. Dawn's End. Which I can't craft at the moment because I don't have my freighter. So I need to get my freighter and craft it so I don't forget. Do I care about red water planets? What if it's got perfect creature table with rare fish? Do I care about it then? Or do we hate red water so much that we avoid it anyway? But then I won't be landing on planets. Oh, the conflict. Wait, who is it that gets really irritated at me when I'm indecisive? Somebody gets very irritated. I actually can't think who it is. Planetary scan. Right, six planets. Let's start with you. Undergrounds. Go away. I can legit say no. Ossified, not interested. Freezing planet, not really interested. Rocky planet, with aggressive sentinels. Really not interested. Hot planet, with not aggressive sentinels. With six creatures, which include a rare underground. Not interested. Obsidian bead. What is obsidian bead? Underground creatures. Not interested. Right, it's another none of the planets are any good. Let me make my dawn's end. Which means I should make another one of these. And 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 a dawn's end. Yes, because. Let's put some of this stuff away. I forgot to get rid of these things. I forgot to sell these things. I've got a gazillion power transport. Next time we find a mercenary system, I'm going to have to teleport back and forth and get rid of all of these. I don't want to be carrying all this crap. I've got C-class modules to get rid of as well. I need to sell modules. Storage. 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 Get rid of all the crap. Storage, storage. Treasures that we're going to swap, I guess I keep hold of. Storage. Spare Atlantidium. I need to get more of this. If we're going to have to feed things, I should be collecting that when we go around. Right, let's just top up on some of the resources that I seem to be lacking. God, I need to sell some of this crap. Why have I got two save points in here? What is this bullshit? I don't know if I need gravity nibbles for anything. Do I keep some sack venoms? I'll keep some just in case. Can't think why I need them. Probably don't need them. Let's tidy this up a bit. Hey, wrong box. Yeah. Oh wow. 
Selenium, eh? I should spin this. Spin that. Eat capacitors. Oh. Cryogenic chamber. Superconductors. Eek bastards. This is what I'm talking about. Is it making it in here? That's all I can make. Storage, storage, storage. This we're keeping for now. Anything else? Ah, oh, this is a wrong bloody box. Also wrong box. Also, why the hell have I got salt in here? Where did that salt even come from? I've got way too much salt. Let's get rid of this. My marrow looks rather disappointing. I think I will collect some marrow as we go. Just have a stack of it. Nostalgic purposes. What have I got in here? This crap shouldn't be in here. Marrow? Get Grillix. Why did this not smart loot? Ah, because I didn't have any. Okay, understood. Yeah, we've not been on many dis dissonant planets this playthrough. I really don't have very much there, do I? Smart loot. Keep hold of this. Keep hold of this. Take a couple more. Smart loot. I don't know why I've got these things, but I guess we can use them. Right, anything else to sort? <laughs> so I've got loads of more lighting fecum. I can't really spend that. We're kind of out of plants again. Could make two more of these. Oh, go on then. Yeah, I've got I've got the wrong balances of stuff. I need sulfurine gas and we need plants. Then I could spend most of this crap. But I don't have it, so I can't. One day, perhaps. That will do, I think. I need my explorer wings for my next ship. Could spend more nanites and get another reactor for my other ship. Wait, this is fixed again. Last time this was glowing. Right. We scanned the planets, they were no good. Should we go to the space station? I, I, I should go to the space station tonight. If I can see the space station. There it is. In the save files under UI content, the Wonders Catalog files will define the pages in the Wonder Catalog, so I'm hoping it's just a matter of decompiling, converting, editing an extra page. God. That does sound all complex. But when you say it like that, it just might work. There are some mods. Wait, Pete. Pete knows a guy that mods called Silent, who's on his Discord. Perhaps you could chat with him, because he's got experience. Perhaps he'll give you some tips as to what to look into. But that's all I know about modding scene. Which really isn't very much. I just take advantage of the odd mod here or there. But a mod that lets me have more than 10, 12 wonders. That would be a mod I'd be interested in. Kill predators, stack. Kill squads. We've got so many kill quads. Eventually I'm gonna have to kill a quad. It will happen when it happens. We actually had stuff to sell as well, didn't we? Sell. Minus four percent. Go away. I think plus five point six percent was the best price we've seen so far.
got nothing here. I thought I had crap to sell. Maybe I didn't. Let's check the multi tools. Slight worry that if I find an S class, then I'm, I'm stuck here again, I'm distracted. I suppose when that happens, it happens. I didn't want to speak to you. I declined. Is this my final suit slot? Possibly, probably. Although I don't know tech starts. Uh, is there any cheap A class ships? A class for 16 million. Yes, I want you. Purchase this ship for 16 million units. I'm going to get about 6 million units back. And hopefully a storage augment. Because I need to do this more often. Give ship price 16 million units. In my ship now. But I want the storage augment. Possibly I should take the cockpit. But I want the storage augment. Actually, C class ships are for cockpits. 6.9 million units back. Does it cost me 9 million units? Did I get one? No! Did I not get one? I did get one. Oh, thank God. I think almost always you get one with an A class. Though, probably. 38 million now. Give me another tech slot, please. Did that give me a tech slot? It did. Right, now I got three. Probably means I should get some more tech. For example, we'd have a transport matter. Didn't I have an infra knife upgrade still pending? Some no, I've got three. What else do we need? What is this thing? Light assist. Maneuverability? I'm already pretty mobile. Do I already have this? Can I get more mobile than this? 900? Pulse drive power? Yes, please. I need a magnetic resonator. Surely I can make one of those. Damn, son. 30% pace drive, but drive power. I'll take it. And a flight assist for extra mobility. Can I get more than 900? 979. I need more slots. A class? C class. Could wait for an A class. Don't want a hauler, they're too expensive. So I need a C class anyway. A class shuttle, one shuttle. B class. B class, do I risk it? No. I think my odds dwindle. I will sell my excess nanites. Clogging up my inventory. Probably don't need any of this crap. A class? A class. 34 million, that's too expensive, really, isn't it? I mean, I want the slot, but I don't want that much. Although, do I take it? I'll get how much back? 34 million? I'll get like. <gasps> it's too expensive. Forget it. Come on, guys, 90 chat and only 3 likes. I must admit, I've been having a lack of likes lately. I get like a hundred views sometimes. And get six likes. I think people just are lazy to like. Right, we scanned the system and they were all crap, wasn't it? So on to the next system. Okay, so why is it not... Also, what is all these quests here? Like, what is this? Oh, are these my frigates? Is that what it is? What is that sign? Must be my frigates, I guess. 
Um, why is the quest not on anymore? So you go away. Track a black hole. Right, at this path. This way. Oh, come on. A Kovac scientific tranquil water system. Oh my. When you get the Atlas option to create a new star, if chosen, there are follow on options to choose. A wonder to be part of the new star? No way. Does it actually make a new planet? And if so, how do you visit it? Because God, I want to see the new planet I create. They should have that as an option. That'd be so cool. Particularly if it creates a wonder there. Oh my god. Can you imagine that you could actually create a planet and populate it with one of your wonder creatures? That'd be so bloody fun. Why didn't they do that? That'd be so amazing. In fact, why isn't there a custom planet builder? That would also be fun. Some ridiculously expensive... No, the problem is it can't be expensive because people just cheat. Yeah, I don't know how they would do it. But that would be very fun to be able to somehow craft a planet. Or terraform a planet. Right. Why am I lost? I'm rather lost. No man's sky. I did craft the module I need, didn't I? Guess we'll find out. How many of these actually are there? Is there like 10 of them? 12 of them? So Tick Jed needs Dawn End, apparently. I can't remember if I've summoned my freight here. Didn't think I have. I wonder if we're learning any words as we walk over these things. Wouldn't it be amazing to create a Diplo planet? That's what I want to do. Right. Summon my freighter. Create Otoic Jed. Very first time. But I also need to make Dark Matter. And I also need to make Dawn's End. And I also need to make Shed. And I also need to make Yellow One. And Red One. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a beautiful thing. Can make more nitrogen salt. Or more hot ties. I've got so many hot ties. I'm bloody spend them. Right, uh planetary scan, probably. Why, hello ships that are landing. If you're A-class and cheap, I might buy you and procure you and scrap you for part. Because I really should be putting more work into expanding my ships and making them better. C-class, go away. C oh my god, that's absolute junk. Right, planetary scan. This entrance is growing on me. I still feel I need to do some work with it. I need to dig more savage data and I'm not more... There's only two systems here. Are you kidding me? A mutated gamma planet eh? With a common underground. It's only a common underground. It's not a rare underwater. Why am I enchanted? I mean, mutated, isn't that? What do you call it? God, what do you call it? Should we go have a look? Ah, go on then. Fine, I'll go have a look at this planet. Why not? Nest planet, that's the one. I'm trying to think. Nest gamma planets. Are they any good? 
I guess let's go find out. Which means I should probably say hello to the space station. Be cool if you could land somewhere else on the space station and just get out and walk about a bit on the externals. I don't quite know why they haven't implemented that because they look so cool and grand. You could totally walk around the outside slightly. That's why probably too many cheating players play No Man's Sky, yeah. I mean, if you play legit and don't have a broken economy, there's quite a lot of fun. But if you break the economy and just get everything for free, then... It... Is that Blue Experimental? Oh my god! Oh my! Blue Experimental in the space station! It's only a C-class, but damn, son! Do I want it? Probably. I mean, why not? It's a bit of a shame it's a C-class. That means it'll always be a C-class. But it will always be here in the space station. Blue Experimental is pretty rare. Is it rare? Pretty rare, isn't it? You don't get blue very often. Coordinates for Blue Experimental Multitool. Unfortunately, Experimental Multitool is not quite as good as they used to be. Hmm. I guess we procure it. Ned to collection. Because why not? Okay. Blue experimental module added to collection. I don't want to use it. Experimental multi-tool collection. I guess the thing is we're going after this Atlas multi-tool, which will be giving me infinite cloak. How do you go back to a different multi-tool when you get the ability to infinitely cloak? I don't... I feel like that's a bit broken, isn't it? There's another row! I've got another row! God, this is like never-ending suit slaps. Uh, what else do I need to do here? Missions. Wow, tell me, within a minute, both fans and experimental. Is yours better than mine? You're going to have to do good work to be better than a blue experimental. Quad. Send us a picture to the Discord and we'll show it to everybody. The one that you just found. Are you able to do that? Oh crap. I didn't mean to do that. Unless it's awkward. Don't worry if it's awkward. It's more just out of sharing. Sharing economy. Mercenaries Guild, finally! Oh my god, right, we got a gazillion things. I probably just want to get rid of all this crap. Donate. Pirate Transponders. Yeah, squad servers, get rid of them. Probably worth just reloading here and just offloading them all so I don't have to carry these damn things. Which is slightly annoying. And we get this for free, and we get this for free. I don't need this, and we get this for free. Don't really need this. Right, I guess we go save reload a few times and get rid of all the transponder. This is a bit of a crap mechanic. But I feel it's a legit mechanic for this particular game. It annoys me, I have to say. But I do feel it's part of the game. So we're just going to take advantage and offload all these pirate transponders we've collected. A B class. See, the class is not as important to me as the aesthetic yours was white yeah white is very common but does it have some funky pattern is it unique in some way envoy pen yes 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 we go again. Sorry, but I need to get all these pet transponders offloaded. If it 
if I found these systems more frequently, I probably could just wait. But I literally never find these damn mercenary systems for some reason. Can you bring up the address as I have a blue thing going on? I can do one better. I can put the picture that I just took into the Discord for you. Um, give me two ticks, one tick. I think it should be in the Discord. Oh, it's not got the coordinates. Didn't I take a picture with the coordinates? I, I swear I did. That's slightly annoying. Those are the coordinates. Wait, so if I take a picture like this, is it not capturing the coordinates? Why is it not capturing the coordinates? Let me have a look at my folder. Is it because I've not got the HUD on? It's not capturing the bloody coordinates! How long has that been a thing? But it's got the coordinates on it. Try F12 instead. But then it won't be in the right folder, will it? It is in the right folder. Did it get the coordinates? Now it got the coordinates. So it only takes the coordinates if I F12. What the hell? Is that a new thing? You're not a fan of the blue? Well, if you've got a blue playthrough going on, then you would be a fan of the blue. Did I reload? I can't remember, so let's just reload. Screenshot for coordinates, yeah. But I took the screenshot of the damn multi-tool, and for some reason it didn't take the coordinates of it, which is a bit annoying. The only reason I did that was to save it in the Discord. So now I've got the screenshot of the bloody multi-tool with no coordinates on it. I need to remember if I want the coordinates I have to F12, otherwise it doesn't save them. Is that a new thing? Or is that because I'm playing Hudless? I don't know. I'm already out of quad servers, apparently. Oh yeah, because I didn't have that many. But we've still got one, two, three, four, five reloads to do. But at least we go get a load of standing and spend all these transponders. Yeah, she's my pirate mastery. Has anyone seen the purple experimental multi-tool? That's a good question. Don't think so. I think we do have a multi-tool category on the Discord, and if I ever found one, probably it would be in there. Although I am a bit lazy, so maybe sometimes it's not. But I've certainly not found one recently. Increase standing. Be mercenary guild standings. Come on. Oh my, we're an elder in the mercenary guild. Wait, I'm a marshal, apparently. But title, who knew? Mihal's one of the masters of collecting titles. He's been going around doing all sorts of weird and wacky things to unlock titles that he doesn't have. I must admit it doesn't really... It's not something really that I'm interested in. I guess if there was a particular title that's particularly interesting, I might be interested. But from a completionist Am I spending nanites to get that thing? And then it's I'm going to get less nanites than it's worth. How many nanites do I get? I 
thought I was getting it for free. I've got five of them. With 300 nanites? Do I get 300 nanites each? Five times 300. I literally got 300. Oh no, I, okay, it sells it individually. So I need to make sure I'm getting more than 300 nanites. Oh, it doesn't cost me 300 nanites. A class? A class. How many of you guys reload all the time in No Man's Sky to, I don't know, shop or progress or, I don't know, farm some module or God knows what? Farm S class ships. I feel it's like such an integral part of exploiting No Man's Sky mechanics. It's hard to get away from it. Right, so I get 300 and I'm spending 200. So me doing this is 100 nanites. But I guess eventually I'll sell it, so whatever. Two more reloads. And a big chunk of storage space in my inventory because now I'm not hauling around pirate transponders all over the bloody place. has gone to get some food. I'll be having a late lunch. I have to cook something actually. Half my family's away. One of my daughters a bit unwell so she's stayed at home so she's just watching movies. And I'm on night shift transitions so my food eating patterns a bit all over the place. I wish I slept longer this morning but I woke up so here we are. Pirate chain spawned it. Uh, I think the jump from Elder to Exalted is quite a big jump. Actually, how big a jump? Mercenary skilled. Next rank Exalted in 31. I'm getting th three per stack of these transponders. I'd need 30 bloody transponders. I mean, that's, that will happen eventually. All the time, surely everyone is king of reloads in No Man's Sky. They should add it as a title. It would be cool if there was a stat for it, actually. The amount of times reloaded in the game. 1,349,202. Caroline, the Queen Reloader, unlocked. Yes, please. Yes, please. Take it because it's free. And we've finished. Right. I can turn that back off. We'll be on our way. Worth. I also got a little multi tool slots. Nine. I guess we put them into our tool. No, that's not true. Because we're planning to get a new multi-tool. Because we're planning to get this Atlas multi-tool that lets me have infinite cloak. Can you transfer the infinite cloak ability to a different multi-tool? Or are you stuck with that one particular multi-tool? Because if you're stuck, I don't like that mechanic. Because that just means Everybody will go get that multi tool. It doesn't it? I said I was interested in this planet because it's mutated and I'm curious. As though as soon as I see it, I might be less curious. It does have cave creatures. So I could eyeball it and then go away? Are we interested in this? Not really. Do I slow down in case there's a Diplo? Sandworm? It's interesting how some creatures spawn. There's some birds over there. 
There's a sandworm, surely. Are you a sandworm? Or are you one of those... What do you call it, creatures? Oh. You, you, you're disgusting! No! No free... Fresh... What can we do with flesh rope? What's the point of that crap? I'm not really interested in this place, am I? It doesn't look that good. Let's get out of here. That's not worth a cave creature. My end of attack. Ugh. It's not got the quest up. Right, next Atlas system. Ag Agzanzi. An adequate, testy place. Yeah, they've added new stuff, Caroline. That's why I'm doing it. So now apparently you get a multi tool, and the multi tool has a technology that lets you cloak infinitely. That sounds amazing. So I'm interested in it. So that's why I'm redoing the Atlas quest on this playthrough. However, I don't really understand, because surely that's like ridiculously overpoweredly best in the slot. I guess you can get higher damage multi-tools. Maybe some people prefer damage over infinite cloak ability. But I like cloaking. I find it's pretty cool to like run away. And also the multi-tool looks pretty sweet from what I've seen. I don't actually know how you get it or what happens, but Pete's, that's, Pete's got it and that's what he told me. So that's what we're doing in Hudless because we're god gamers. And that's what we do. Don't know if I've got enough milestones, although perhaps you only need one milestone to be maxed and that's enough for you to progress this thing. Okay, it didn't give me a reward. Why not? That's strange. Like this like sometimes it's giving me the reward and showing me and sometimes it's not. Uh What don't I have? Blue, red. They're not in the right order, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't actually know how many we need. The carrot's ultimate tool not so popular with heroes. You kidding me? It's not cowardly, it's pacifist. That's not a coward, that's treasuring life. I'm not exterminating everybody that I don't have to. I wish the invisibility thing would work against pirates and against predator creatures. That would be cool. I don't quite understand why it doesn't, to be honest. Let's just do a planetary scan. If there's a worthwhile planet, we'll go have a look at it. By worthwhile, it needs to have good creature table. Got to get rid of these. Why do I have these? I just forgot to get rid of them. Good creature table. Preferably rare aquatic creature so that we can potentially add to our space aquarium that we're building. What else? We're a planet that looks really cool. And. Oh, wrong one. Wonders. Right. Anything good? Oopsie! Planet, oopsie. An infested planet with four creatures on. Not really interested. Sebo. Decent creature table. No fish. 
Mm. There is a moon. It does have extreme weather. Not sure. Only got common fish, but decent creature table. Starbulb with beautiful weather. Threatening sentinels. Resources I don't need. Although I don't think we've got a cobalt mine yet. Mm. Mm. Ancient bones. Right, so it's either Sebo or it's New Saka or it's none of them. They've both got extremeness to them. I do like moons. Rare flyer. Slightly turned off by a southern creature. Hmm. Yes or no? They haven't decided yet. You cannot repackage the runic lens, which is the mining laser and the cloaker. Oh no. Wait, is the mining beam improved then as well? That's impressive. I wouldn't mind a mining beam and a cloaker. But I don't think I'm interested in this one. Let's go to the next Atlas station. Hello Shogun, how you doing? I was slowly chipping away at my Atlas quest whilst visiting space stations, improving my mercenary standing, and occasionally scanning planets and seeing if there's anything interesting to visit. So far, we've not found too much in the way of interesting planets, I have to say. However, our Atlas missions are progressing, and eventually, apparently, we're going to get an amazing multi-tool with an infinite cloak and something to do with a mining beam. That's how they prevented it being overpowered, but I precisely feel that that's the reason it's overpowered. It's because it's so unique. It almost makes me feel like I just found a blue experimental multi-tool, which now feels completely worthless. Because why would I ever want to level up a blue experiment multi-tool when I can do Atlas Quest and get infinite cloak multi-tool? So to me it's almost a bad thing. Because it's too overpowered. No? Or am I looking at it the wrong way? I mean, don't get me wrong, I want it. But I'd rather be able to put the tech. I mean, I'd rather be able to get the tech and then extract the tech and then put it in whatever multi tool that I want. State Vasia. Ah, no! That was the same one! Crap! Reclaimant. I mean, I needed that one anyway. But this is annoying. I need to do it in the right order somehow. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like a god gamer. In case these are giving words. They used to give you loads of words back in the day. I'm pretty sure they don't give you as many words as they... They don't always give you words. I'm not, I'm not too fussed about words, to be honest. I did a playthrough where I got all the words. I haven't said that. I think they've added loads of words. Hmm. Infinity stones. Nice. Exactly. I value infinite cloak combat. Most players don't care about that. Yeah. True. Now that looks like a potentially interesting planet to explore. That looks like a purple lush. There's also a space station. So let's check out the space station. Is that the kind of planet that we just visit? 
and take our potluck. I mean, it's difficult not to visit that. Blue sky, blue water, purple lush. I'm currently not storming. That's pretty much... I should go visit that, shouldn't I? What if it's got the worst possible creature table? What if it's got triple rare undergrounds and no rare fish? That would really turn me off. True. But should that turn me enough, off enough that we don't visit? Surely I need to go peek at least. The question is, do I go to my freighter? I can teleport to my freighter. Actually, teleporting the freighter is a pretty good idea. I can scan. Oh, we can find out that it's not worst case scenario. Stack creature kill missions, because that's what we do. The other stuff I don't care about. Is there any reason I want the shop? The only thing I need, I think, is carbon nanotubules. Suppose I don't have a dioxide mine yet. Fine. The rest of it I don't need. We did have some stuff to sell. Flesh rope. What do I do with flesh rope? Is it is there anything we can do with flesh rope? Why is flesh rope in the game? Actually, I'm asking the question. So that means we tab out the game, bring up my special share screen, and we go to the catalog where we look at all the items and we search up flesh rope and we find out what the hell it bloody does. I can refine it into 50 nanites and I can cook it into wriggling tech and gelatinous membrane. It doesn't feel that useful, but I guess 50 nanites is 50 nanites. Fine, we'll refine it. Who knew? Now that's a nice ship. I'm looking for blue, blue glow balls. But that's pretty cool, a hauler actually. Green and yellow with funky balls. How much are you these days? 66 million units, god. We need more money. Right, flesh rope. Oh my, nanites. Who knew? Fresh rope was from one of the expeditions, yeah. I just don't quite know why they add resources like that in the game that basically don't do anything. Because it would also be like, they, it's kind of interesting to farm. Like you get it from killing those creatures on those nest planets. Which doesn't happen very often. But there's like not really much use to it. It's certainly not worth the nanites that you get. Unique settlement we take. Circuit boards we take. Sulfur we bloody take. To be honest, we take all of it. And then we donate. Don't donate circuit boards. I don't donate service datas. There's just no way. Service datas are precious. Soup slot. Multi tools. Loaded crap. Still expanding my inventory. I swear they've added so much inventory space. It's like never ending. Sleep of infinity. A class ship. Not an A class ship in sight. We get it. Right, let's go check out this planet. No, I lied. Let's teleport to my freighter and scan the planet just to make sure it's not an absolute abject waste of time. What if it's Protoroller Creature Table? God. I guess I peek at it and make sure it's just not stunningly beautiful. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Aussie national colours, green and gold. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> You'll have to come and farm it. Although these days you can colour your ship, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What am I doing? Scanner. 
Scanner, scanner, scanner. So this stuff is all cooked, so I should refresh it. In my mind, I'm slowly ruminating how I'm going to build an epic outdoor aquatic wonder collection of aqua aquarium creatures. Because they do look so cool in space. Somehow I want to make it so it's a pretty design. I don't quite know how to do it. I miss those coloured plants. I can't remember how I got them. I think there was a glitch to make lots of them. Or you could somehow craft them infinitely. But I don't remember what that glitch was. But I certainly don't want to collect thousands of colourful... I can't remember what they're called. Right, refining is done. Beautiful. Uh, planetary scan. Oh, come on. I'm literally the other side. How is this collecting the wonder collector? Like, if I try and click it, I can't. And if I don't want to click it, I do. Moment of truth. Aggressive sentinels. Slight put off. 13 creatures. One, two, three, four grounds only. Bastards, two undergrounds. Oh! A new rare fish. Oh god, it's a, it's a nightmare. Do we do it anyway? Alex Anger Duck wants to know what time it is for you. What? What's Angered Duck? It's almost 1 p.m. here. Is there anything else here? Activated copper, frost moon, life incompatible. Right, I'm going to fly down and have a look. And I will land only if the planet looks stunningly gorgeous. Otherwise, no. But I'll give it a chance to wow me. Pete, how do you catch me with dragons? I think it's actually a mod that they've used to get bird pets in the game. Oh, Angered Duck. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, I... I didn't notice you there. Welcome. Right, only if this is stunningly gorgeous. The tree colour is already off-putting me. But the sky colour is pretty nice. Actually, the trees are not that bad. Oh crap, now I'm conflicted. I'm truly conflicted. Because it's actually pretty good. It's got three different tree color variants, which is nice. They're slightly too similar for my taste. But it's got beautiful blue sky. Oh, fine. Fine, I will do this, planet. You've seduced me. Bring on the underground reaches. I like the tall red trees. I like the little tiny yellow trees. I will commit. Leave me alone. I'm invisible. Definitely invisible. Hopefully the Atlas Multi-Tool Infinite Cloak is slightly more functional. It doesn't stop working half the time. Probably works exactly the same. A cave, eh? With some uncommon cave creature inside, perhaps. Chance. Pink cave? I wonder if other people would have landed on this planet. I mean, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? You do love a good cave creature hunt. True. And we are, like, avoiding them for the most part. 
But every now and again, it's hard not to get seduced by these places. Ugh. I didn't get a lucky early cave creature. Get a vortex cube to bring me luck. No, 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 no. Oh, you bastards. I'm invisible. Totally, totally invisible. Still invisible. I feel like they've increased the amount of time the invisibility scanner works, possibly. Well, hello, Doe the deer. A female deer with a pocket full of something or other. It's beautiful colours here, isn't it? Don't you like this? Does anybody like this? Creatures so far less than impressive, though. We have a couple of deer species. A couple of birds. I could always do a sentinel scan building. We've not done that for a while. Turn the sentinels off. Hmm. Also, the fish are probably going to be a bit lackluster because there's no rare fish. Why did I land here again? They've also the ability of... Ooh. A rat. Damn it. There's going to be like no creatures of the planet. The creatures suck. Hmm. Let's have a dip for the fish. What fish could impress me? Eva, maybe? Jellyfish that looks funky? I don't know. Right. Hello. I do need some cytophosphate in my... A crab? Spotted! Easiest crab spot in my whole entire life. And some fish. Elderly male fish, apparently. Add some cytophosphate to my cytophosphate collection. Ah! Nice plants and another fish. Wait, did I only scan that fish? Really? Have I scanned all the fish already? No, there's still two. Oh crap. That's gonna be more crabs, isn't it? Ah, there's one. One more fish. You the same crab? Ah, found you, you little bastard. Thought you could hide from me. Right, that was good, that was good. Quick few underwater creatures, including two crabs, found instantly by a god gamer. And some sodium phosphate added to my collection. Yes, I understand why you're pissed off. I, I, I just stole resources from your planet. But that's what I do. Right, so what are we missing? Two underground creatures. Are we missing anything else? Yes, we are. Ah, southern creature. No, we're in the north. Right, so I need to go to the south. Two grounds, one flyer, two undergrounds, and I need to go south. I want to get my ship. Hmm. Right, so how do we find south again? Do we do potluck or do we try and actually navigate? South. I know I'm north. So if I just literally go directly the opposite side, I must be exactly south to my current position, no? That's logical. So if I just fly directly up, get the center of the planet in the middle, that is north, like all the way round to the other damn side, past the planet, and then go directly to the middle, 
That must be south. Multi time zone stream. I do stream at different times actually. With my varied shift pattern with my work. I'm transitioning to nights at the moment, so I have a few days off. And technically I should have slept longer this morning. Tried to but didn't quite work out. Right. Plum bang in the middle should be south ish. Are you pirates? Hostile scan. Can I escape? Going in for a landing. Bastard. Pirates are after me. I was going to land, but forget it. Bloody pirates. You want to fight? Uh, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Come here, you little shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God, I missed with the rockets. You're going down, buddy boy. Where's your colleague? There's two of them. That's not fair. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come and attack me. Ooh, I like your ship. I wish I could knock this out of the sky and then go collect it. That would be cool. Because I've won that damn wings. No, actually, I've already got those wings. I don't need those wings. Oh, pirate transponders, no doubt. Where are they? Stop crashing. Easiest pirate fight in my whole entire life. I don't need to be scared of pirates anymore. Do, however, need a cave. Please have a cave. Please have a cave. Cave complex spotted. Including savage daters. Surely one of the common cave creatures is here. Surely. Damage machinery. Kind of wish there was another way to get savage daters. Shouldn't you get some from frigate missions and stuff? Maybe you do, actually. It's just not very many. You need so many of them. Ah, cave creature spotted. Why, hello, sir. Are you the common or the uncommon? You're the common. Of course you are. I need one uncommon cave creature. Perhaps if I give you some food. Where's your buddies? No? Hmm. I suppose I should be satisfied with one cave creature. Hello? Wait, why does it feel like I hear something here? I do hear something. Is it you? Are you the same bloody guy? Do you have any friends here? That seem to be no. Damn it. Oh well, at least we got one cave creature. And I also need to fly out. But it's not you. Is it you? It's not you either. Surely it's you. Like a god gamer, spotted. Right, what else? One more underground and southern ground creature in rare ground. Am I in the south? Oh, shoot. I'm practically in the south. Does this count the south? I'm like on the equator, but I'm ever so south of the equator. I have a quick look. Hmm. Perhaps I should try and fly and get more south. 
There is a way to do it by navigating the coordinates, and I keep trying to learn, and then I keep forgetting how to do it. And it's also a bit of a ball ache to line up properly. Why, hello, southern grand creature, potentially. No. Damn it. Okay, the creatures have been a bit lackluster. Do we even have a creature of the planet candidate? I'm not sure that we do. That's been terrible, isn't it? Wait, is this dud planet? What was our award we were giving to dud planets? Was it just simply dud planet award? But the planet's not that bad, but the creatures are terrible. Hmm. Southern Creature Award. No, there's a plant. Spotted! Nice! Right, so it's just a cave creature. Let's go fly. We will find it. Fly to try and find a building as a cave. Or fall into a hole that is obviously a cave. Ouch. Okay, it's not actually a cave. Damn it. I thought it was a cave. Okay, that was a bit lackluster. Can things stop whipping me, please? Right. Guess I should also quickly check for a hotspot. S-class power! I don't need S-class power. C-class gas. I don't need C-class gas. Right, so I need cave. It begins. The last cave creature hunt begins. It's always the last creature to find, of course, because cave creatures are a nightmare. But that's what I need to get my nanites. Why, hello, ground thing. Are you a queer ship? Are you a shop? You have a cave. A cave complex, eh? With a shop. I don't suppose I need to sell anything, do I? We picked up some vortex cubes, didn't we? We did. Mm -hmm. Minus 5%. Go away. Ah. Let's get rid of this crap. And this. And these. I need to spend my sulfur in gas. Quantum processor, eh? Nice. And thermic condensate, nice. Which becomes cryo pump, nice. Which becomes well, we have a stasis device, nice. But I don't have any living glass. We're out of lubricant. We're out of lubricant. Cave creature. It's not the best of caves, really, is it? Okay, that is that is not a cave creature. Dudes, I'm literally trying to find a cave creature. That's all. Now, didn't I just land here? Where's my ship? Did I just land here? No, I was with the bird, wasn't I? Wait, try again. Escape the Dastly Sentinels. A building with not really much of a cave. A landing pad with not really much of a cave, but it's a landing pad, so let's have a quick look. Possibly a cave? Possibly a cave. A crappy multi tool. A traveller. I could get another glyph. But wait, don't I get all the glyphs when we complete the Atlas quest line? Or is that the Artemis quest line? 
I feel like we're going to be getting all the glyphs, so why would I go hunt them manually? Probably shouldn't. Give me a land! This is a terrible cave. This is not a cave. What is this? Cave? It is a cave. Come on. Come on, cave creature. Wait, this is it. Ugh, terrible. What about a hard reload? I mean, a cave creature could spawn here. A cave creature does spawn here. It's the same bloody cave creature. Okay, let's try a reset. Let's see if we get lucky. I'm not doing particularly well with following chat, am I? But I guess there's not too much chat happening. 15 people watching, it tells me. Is that true? Wow. You guys like No Man's Sky? Right. Turn that back off. Did we get lucky? Same guys here. Do you have any of your buddies here? No? It's funny how, like, one was there, and then all of a sudden another one spawns in. Like, why does that happen? Alas, same creature. Oh well, we need to find another cave. Oh, you bastard. Seriously? Seriously? You're building a base right now. What are you building? What's your concept? Multi tool change because we reloaded. Interesting. Perhaps I should be reloading every outpost just to see what the other multi tool is. I'm still under attack. Oh, you know what? Forget it. Screw you. I'm going to the bed. Leave me alone. How long are we going to be stuck on this planet searching for this cave creature, I wonder? Story of my life. I'm building a fungal mold farm. One of my very first fungal mold farms back in the day many many years ago I used to have this role play company called Alexi Check Corps and I used to make plant bases typing out the word Alexi Check Corps with the flowers did I just land at exactly the same outpost no did I surely not But that was fun. That was back when you couldn't have multiple bases on the same playthrough. And I actually purchased the game again. To make one playthrough with lots of builds. And one playthrough where I used all the builds that I'd built. And it worked a treat. That's how much I enjoyed this game. So I actually have a second Steam account with another game. <laughs> In fact, my current Steam account, I, I messed it up at the time, and I ended up having a load of games of one Steam account, but now this Steam account has become my main. So it's a bit bizarre. Right. This doesn't have a cave. We do have daylight. Am I regretting landing on this planet? Slightly. The creatures have been very subpar. We go to the crash freighter. 
I kind of feel like I'm past the point that it's that useful. Although frigate modules, frigate modules. Mm, but I can't be bothered. I'm not in the mood for it. However, there is a cave. Please be open and vast and big and full of creatures. like I hear the crab again, but it's not here. Hello? Damn cave creatures. I got seduced by the fact that it wasn't a rare cave creature. I should have known. It doesn't matter. Still gonna be bastards to find. Damn it! Still no. Right, do we go back to the old technique of scanning for drop pods? Do I have any of those? I could do bounties. Actually, I could do bounty. Sentinels on this damn planet. Try and lock onto this damn thing. And hopefully it's got a cave. They, they tend to have caves. Go invisible. So no sentinels dare scan me. Go try lock on to sentinel boundary building. Assassinate all sentinels. Hopefully it has the cave we need. Profit. And the question is, where the hell is it? Now that feels promising. Although it might be my freighter or it might be my... Space station? It's the bloody space station. It's the Atlas station. I locked onto the Atlas station. Damn it. Damn it! And this could be anywhere now. Let's get further away. Oh, you're making a curious deposit mold farm. Ah, for nanites. That's kind of only viable in normal mode where you can refine a butt ton of them, isn't it? Wouldn't really work in... Maybe? Possibly? Felt like it locked on something. Why, hello, Sentinel Boundary Building. We must be, surely. Please have a cave. Why, hello, sir. This is what I'm talking about. Although I don't see the cave. However, we'll get rid of these bastard Sentinels for once and for all. Yes, I know. You pissed at me. Yes, I'm gonna take you off. Wait, what if there's a good moldy tool here? I'm gonna get stuck here, aren't I? Let's shut down the friend sentinels first. You get stuck in this menu if you have the HUD turned on. Let me just turn it off so I can look at the multi tool. Cave entrance, eh? What's the magic tool? Silver A class. Don't we get this for free? I'll take this. For free. Nice. It's actually an interesting colour. It's actually a really interesting colour, isn't it? Wait, don't all the, don't we get all the colours? There's only a set amount of colours, isn't there? I mean we take it for free.
I can turn that back off. Go check for my cave creature. And do a hard reload if it's not here. Wait, hard reload would reset the sentinels, but then I just turn them straight off again. So it's the perfect time to do a hard reload. That's the multi tool. I thought I just changed the multi tool. I must have misclicked it. Right, um, I mean the cave creature is not here, we are at a place that I can do a hard reload. Let's try it, you never know. Mode select reload, refresh the planet, force the cave creature to spawn, you never know. I'm not actually sure if there's certain colours that are rare, I think there's only a certain set amount of those multi-tools. So probably all the colours have been easily found. Unless they've changed it? I just don't remember. Silver. Alright, let's get the hub turn back off. Let's see if we have any creature spawned. Wait, why have I changed multi tool again? Wait, what? Don't get it. These things I can hand into mercenaries as well, I think. Okay, this reloading business to get cave creatures just doesn't seem to be working, I have to say. Definitely not a cave creature here. It's not the biggest of caves though, I suppose. Right, we, did, we don't have sentinels anymore, so that's nice at least. Let's see if we can find another building with a cave. Is that a crash ship? This is a shop with a cave. Technology Welcome back, Nihau. How is dinner? I'm still stuck on this planet. Can't find the damn creature. However, we have managed to turn off the sentinels. And we have found a cave. I've tried the hard reload to mode select a few times. It's not worked. This is a bigger cave. I just find that you just don't often find the cave creatures in sloped caves like this. You do sometimes. But I feel like I'm almost always more likely to find them in flatter open caves, but this is a huge cave. Yeah, cave creature, but the one we already have. Bastard. Can I find your counterparts, please? Like, I know you're the common one. You're the other sex. Come on, boys. Bring me your counterpart. Like we're trying hard here. Woman Air Knights. I've got things to do, places to be, creatures to scan. Such a nice cave complex as well. Teasing me, toying with me. I wonder how many times the creature's here and I just don't see it. Must happens. Sometimes.
surely you're not a cave creature. God, could you imagine? Right, let's go flying again. Oh, wrong one. No, I'm pressing the wrong button. Damn it. Come back. You cheeky grin. Trying to find another gift. A hole in the ground. Okay, this isn't much. Does it open up? It does open up. Come on. Vortex cubes. Pick these up for luck. Really? The caves aren't bad actually, but not having luck. More a brunch, main meal later. Fair enough. Yeah, I need to cook some. I've got some chicken I need to cook up once I'm done streaming. For the family to eat once they're back home. Stir fried chicken. Sweet and sour. Something like that. I don't know. See what I've got in the house, I guess. Okay, this is a bit lackluster. Do we go? Do we give up? I hate giving up. These damn cave creatures just don't want to be found. Tell you what, let's use my lucky ship. This will help, definitely. My lucky girl and explorer. Bring me luck. Find me building with a god tier cave. A golden explorer for the very first time. Probably start getting some upgrades for this bad boy. I think I'd probably prefer the X-Wing type. Or my little baby hopper type. But this one's not too bad. It takes you so long to actually upgrade his ship, ship though. With all the storage augments you need. Like, even my current main ship doesn't have much space at all. Where is the building? I mean, I've turned off the Sentinels. I should really take advantage of that and farm this damn thing. Increase my Hudless Zoology counter by one. Eventually. I've been doing very good at looking for hotspots, I suppose I should be looking. There's all the damn buildings. It's supposed to bring me luck. I have absolutely zero upgrades on this ship, so if pirates come, we have to escape quickly. Now, a drop pod with a potential cave entrance is what we're talking about. Bring me luck at this lucky location and give me the M suit slot. Right. This is the one. This must be the one. This is. Wait, if I reload, I reset the sentinels. Damn it. Can't reload. Come on, cave creatures. This is a good cave entrance, isn't it? Hmm. 
You had to see them already if they were here. You little, you little bastards! Why are you at every cave? Where's your colleagues? Is it going to be one of those invisible gophers or something? Vast cave complex. Fine, have a look. Egg and bacon and pretty breakfast for champions. Now you're making me hungry. One day there'll be a technology where you guys can instantly send me food. <laughs> that you're talking about. I'll take an egg. Why, hello, cave creature! You little tiny thing that almost looks the same, but not quite. Creature the planet, because this planet sucked. God gamery in action. Check out this. 3,250 nanites. Now, actually, it's not bad for a crab. And all the other creatures really sucked. Like, really sucked. Like, really, really, really 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 sucked and future of the planet award you bastard made, made me waste half my knife actually how many zoologies have we completed on this playthrough come on atlas zoology counter where will that be explorers that's just rare damn it when he says rare creatures 147 rare creatures found. There must be zoology somewhere now. Exploration. Planetary zoology is 55. Is that all? God, it feels like I've done more than 55. 55 heartless zoologies. Man! I thought I'd done more than that, but hey ho. Right, let's get off this damn rock. It's slightly lackluster place, although it did look kind of pretty. Not pretty enough, and the creatures were terrible. Let's say that lucky ship gave me the win. It's true, isn't it? We took the lucky ship, we landed with the lucky ship, we got ourselves a suit slot, and we found the damn cave creature buried deep in a cave. Like a god gamer. Thank you, lucky ship. Wait. It needs a name. PTS planet. That sucked. Wait, what was PTS again? Wait, what was PTS? Lucky. So you have been christened. When I'm hunting cave creatures, it'll be my last resort. Okay, where did I leave my other ship? Leave me the top of the mountain. It's my other ship. Did I learn these words? And yes. Right, onwards to the next Atlas quest. Hello, Boyd. How's life treating you, Boyd? Have you been building lately? Boyd's one of the best builders I know. Well, him and Beeble Bum. They're the best builders I know. I don't know that many build builders, but they're bloody good. But what am I doing right now? Atlas quest. Hunting for a brand new technology with infinite cloak. This is what we want. So we can avoid the dastardly sentinels once and for all. I actually don't know how much more we've got to do. I'm thinking like 12, 10 maybe. I think we've done 8.
building a lot lately. What is your latest pride and joy? I'll show you my pride and joy, although it's a work in progress. But let me inspire you with my pride and joy, although probably like for you this is not, not inspiring at all. But for me, this is inspiring. I'll show you my two little ins inspirations of this playthrough so far. Firstly, I've got wondrous plants in a barrel with flames. Doesn't that look hot? Secondly, I've got a Diplo in my orbital command center. Doesn't that look hot? And thirdly, my pride and joy, my space aquarium. A work in progress, to be sure. But I'm going to build a wondrous aquarium full of colorful aquatic life. The fancy built eventually. Unfortunately, I don't have many of the build parts unlocked on this playthrough yet. And unfortunately, I don't have many wondrous aquatic animals yet. But the concept is there, and boy, they look amazing. There you go, inspiration for you. That's, that's as good as it gets, I'm afraid. The rest of this stuff is... Yeah. I mean, I do have wonders scattered about. Definitely, building with wonders is the way to play. This is amazing. Like, the fact that I can put my creatures about. The only problem is, by the time I get all my aquatic creatures... I'll have to get rid of all of these. Because at the moment, we can only have, like, 12 wonders. It's not enough. Also, this wonder is twisted. I don't know why. It's a pink mushroom bone cat, but the wonder's head is kind of erect for some reason. Fish in space. I know it's cool, isn't it? I think it's amazing. And I really like this tree effect. I, I really think this looks cool. Anyway, we wanted to do a planetary skin. Rangy, a uh, selenium, you a good creature table. Nocturnal, nocturnal, proto rollers spotted. Not interested, go away. A xeno colony. I don't really like xeno colonies. There is a rare underwater, there is an underground. Don't like xeno colonies. Dissonance. An easy dissonant planet. I could do that just to get a little bit of dissonance resources. Should be fairly simple creature table. Okay, that that would be the one if, if we do land on it. But let's go visit the Atlas Station. Need to get a move on with the mod. I know, my Wonders catalog is already full, by the way. I'm having to already delete stuff. I'm experimenting with minerals. I need to find a different mineral. I'm trying to find some cool looking colourful mineral to build as a build piece. And then probably my eagle's gonna have to go. I mean to be honest, if I can end up making a aquatic collection, I'll have to get rid of all of them. Now, where's the Atlas station gone? Blast it. Ah, found it. This is the perks of playing Hudless. I actually have to look for this damn thing. Worth. Oh, anomaly detectors. Wait, if we find a wonder, we're supposed to go search for an organic frigate, by the way. Have I found a wonder today? I haven't, have I? No. Good, I haven't missed farming my organic frigate. Farming organic frigates take bloody forever, and it bugs out half the time, so it's a real ball ache. But they do look amazing, and they are rare, so I like rare crap. Okay, I'm lost. I am lost. I'm literally lost. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, it's over there. Is this thing? Oh, 
I actually don't know at what part of this quest we're supposed to get this multi-tool. Because that's new. I guess we're going to find out. Succumb, Milestone Viking, or above. I succumb. Modified Quanta. That needs Indium. Indium's a fairly end-game rare resource, so is that the final one? Possibly? Don't know. Let's craft it and find out. Modified Quanta. But now I want the other ones. Okay, why can I make two of these? I should do these in order because this is getting confusing. I made two of them. No, I didn't. They just look the same. Okay, thank God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is what I'm talking about. God, game re action. Right. Let's go visit that six creature planet. Why did I want to go to it? Dissonance. I could farm up some Antlantidium and what else? Radiant Shards and those things. Is it you? Arwick. That was the one, isn't it? Arwick. Dissonance. Fine. What multi-tool? There is no multi-tool from the Atlas quest line. It has been revamped with the addition of caching and wonders for seven, eight nanites each time, but no multi-tool. Wait, what? He told me there's a multi-tool that gives you infinite cloak. Has it changed? No, my two experts in No Man's Sky are telling me different things. You can cash in wonders for 78, 5, 7, 8 nanites. Don't you just make infinite wonders and make nanites all the time? How does that work? That seems very strange. Do I have anything to sell? Stasis devices with a 1.4% uplift. Not good enough. Vortex cubes. You can have those. And this helical powder. That'll do. Wait, so there's... I've got two... Like, proper... Like, ridiculously high hour playthrough players who are telling me completely different things about this multi-tool technology quest and where it comes from. The only Atlas multi-tool is the Atlas Staff and the runic lenders from the Atlas Staff can make you invisible. This planet looks amazing, by the way. I really like the colour here. This is a toxic planet! It's because it's dissonant as well. Is there a subtle filter? Maybe. This looks nice. Take a picture. The memories. I like the screen. I need to remember to do F12, because otherwise it's not saving the coordinates. The Atlas multi-tools are only available once you jump galaxy, after completing the Atlas quest. Okay, I'm getting very confused now. So Pete is saying something completely different from me, how? Where do you find these Atlas multi-tools once you've completed this quest? Are they random spawns? 
Something about the colour of this planet I really like. This this purple and green here. Very nice. Let's go say hello to a monolith. A dude! Why hello dude! I'll farm an echo locator. I don't have a blaze javelin anymore, and my gun kinda sucks. Why hello dude! God, I really suck. I'm invisible. Nobody knows me. I sniped him undetectably. Now, I wanted some Antlantidium whilst we're on this planet, just to stock up. And to complete the monolith, because we're here. Why not? In a Viking system. What am I supposed to do? I've only got this. <laughs> no! I failed! Damn it. They're from Kervic systems at the alien structures. What do you mean by alien structures? What's an alien structure? Why, hello, NPC. I have some nanites to spend. No, don't fly away. No. Bastard, he's in his ship. No. I wanted some upgrades. Although I had a playthrough once where I was X-Class modules only. And at the time, I think it was prior to pirate stations. And the only way to get X-Class modules was speaking to these ships. Which... Doesn't happen very often in Hudless, because you never see them. Super annoying that he got back in his ship. Oh wow. Well. Right, it's just two birds we need. One bird? No, it disappeared on me! Bastard bird! It despawned mid scan. Can't believe it. Was this a different bird? Don't they give permanent invisibility if you install and then delete the cloak? Wait, is it a glitch that it gives you permanent invisibility? They don't need a cloak to be installed. Check the words on the runic lens. What are the alien structures that you're talking about to get multi-tools, Atlas multi-tools in Korvac systems? In New Galaxy's post Atlas quest? Because that's completely new to me. We have a slight problem. It's a diurnal bird and it's night time. That is a bit annoying, not gonna lie. I think we're gonna have to go to the light side. And learn to demon farming. Ancient monoliths, okay. Ancient monoliths. Is that different from regular monoliths? Hmm. Are you really attacking me? 15 million units? 15 million? Go away. This is going to be hard. Like, that was really expensive. There's going to be like loads of them. You want to play? There's too many of them.
One down. I've still forgot to add my bloody shields to a hotkey. I should really do that. God, I can't even tell if I'm shooting the right guy. Go down! Where are they? Where are the bastards? Come back here. I'm more maneuverable. Beautiful. Wasn't there another one? Was, was that it? Is that all you've got for me? God, you pathetic pirates. Right, why did I come here? Because I was going to the light side. You get Diana bread. From what I recall, the runic lens does not give permanent invisibility. Well, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to complete the Atlas quest. We're going to get ourselves to a new galaxy. And we're going to go find an ancient monolith in a Corvax system. And we're going to see what multitude we get, what tech we get, and if we get permanent invisibility. Because you never know. If there's a chance for it to happen. Wait, can I find this stuff? Oh my. Possibly not. I have no space. Damn it. Didn't have a huge amount of this stuff really, do we? Right, it's one bird we're missing. How hard could this possibly be? Also, that looks like a radiant shad. Don't you dare. I'm busy here. Farming. I'm invisible. I'm not here at all. Kind of interested that you're not actually shooting me. It's kind of nice. Take some fungal mold. I really like this toxic planet, actually. A dude, eh? I want a dude. God, my weapon sucks. My weapon really sucks. Right away, go invisible. Scan a bird. Wrong bird. Really? Nobody here. Ah! Diana bird. Invisible again. I saw a bird briefly. It's actually too dark to see the damn birds. Okay, there's a bird. That's an interesting bird. Does that count as a quad? I need a quad kill. You count as a quad? Corrupted quad. Do you reckon that would count as a quad? Doubt it. Wait, it's got invisible. Just in case it counts as a quad. Sorry, buddy, but like, I I need to test these things. I've got a gazillion quad missions to kill. And that seems like an easy way to kill a quad if it counts. I kind of need to send HUD back on to see if it completes the mission or not. We're learning here. The missions don't complete until the HUD turns back on, unfortunately. It doesn't seem to have completed a mission. Damn it. I knew that would be too good to be true. Although there's still a load of missions completing, so... God, so many messages. An echolocator, eh? I didn't even know I got that yet. Do we want to use that? Do we care? Yeah, I don't think I got any quad kills. I presume it didn't. Advanced Sentinels. This way, Sentinel quads. Damn it. But it says quad. 
Right, and I still can't find these damn birds. Okay, so we learned the quads on corrupted planets don't count. Unfortunately. Do I mine this stuff by shooting it with this, or does it not really mine? I wonder if I get equivalent amounts. Do we echolocate? What would be the point of echolocation? Would I need echolocators for the autophage questline? Actually, that's a good question. Can somebody tell me that? Because if that's the case, I'll save them. If I end up keep on playing No Man's Sky, then I definitely need to get the autophage questline done at some point, because I've never done it before. I should really fly to the light side again, because we're never going to get Diane or Bird at night time. Oh, I've got to charge my ship. No, disaster. Lucky. That's what we have lucky for. Yes, Alex. Is that a yes? I need echolocators for autophage questland. Okay. Can you confirm that? Then I'll collect them and keep them for whenever we get to doing that. Don't go too far away. If I have a pirate come, I'll have to pay them off because this ship's got nothing. Not from Atlas Questline, but from Corvax Dissonant Mollus. Ah, that's the one. I remember Corvax Dissonant Mollus. Then you get the ant antleted multitools, is it? But do they give you a tech that gives you permanent cloak? Or is that a glitch? The multitool will be random. Wait, so you can farm different variants? That becomes more interesting if there's different variants. So we want to farm entleaded multitools from Corvax dissonant monoliths once we've completed the Atlas questline in a new galaxy? Do I have to do all of that different things? Right, Lucky, I brought you here so that I could find this damn bird that's missing. Now, I'm missing, you're missing one bird. And there it is. Lucky, you are amazing. Lucky, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, literally every single time we've used you, you you've worked. Uh, I, I like you, Lucky. Bless you, Lucky. I will improve you slowly over time for this good fortune you've bestowed upon me. I swear it. Eventually, one day, when I have resources. Right. Planet complete. God, that was quite difficult for something that was not supposed to be difficult. Do we have a creature of the planet? Oh, God, this is, this is, this is fine. An elder cow. We I already uploaded it. No. How did I already upload it? How did I accidentally already upload it? No! Disaster! Sorry, Elder Cow. You're not a creature of the planet after all. Damn it. Oh well. Right, let's get the hell out of here. No, but I need my other ship. Has it recharged yet? Please. Oh, oh no. Wait, 100% charge? So what is this bug? That is 100% charged. So why does it not summon? What do I do to get it back? Okay, lucky. We're going to have to do things the old-fashioned way. Bloody shit bug. 
You should be able to go to a Corvax dissonance system now. Go to Monolith and see if you can get it now. Any Corvax system not dissonant. Really? Is that only after you complete the Atlas quest line? There's a discordant interface by a Corvax monolith. Is that just in dissonant systems? But then Pete is saying it's any Corvax system. Any system. But I've been to many Corvax monoliths. Do I have to have the Atlas quest completed or don't I? I mean, I guess we could go find out. Why did I come here? I came here by mistake. I came here to get my ship. Right, let's go find a Corvax distant. No, it can be any system. Let's find a Corvax. Is this my ship? That's not my ship, is it? An A class ship. How pricey are you? Firstly, I'll take a gamma. Secondly, I'll make an offer to your A-class ship, because I need to scrap it. 22 million, of which I should get like 8 or 9 million back worth. I'll buy it and scrap it like a god gamer. But later. Not now. Right, we'll go to any Corvax system. We'll go find a Corvax monolith. We'll go see if there's a dissonant or whatever it is. And see if there's an Atlantic Multidor. You don't think Atlas has anything to do with those items as they are Atlantid. What is Atlantid, by the way? That's a new word that I don't understand in No Man's Sky. Right, any Corvax system. Filter for Corvax. Life form. I don't suppose the next Atlas station would be Corvax, would you? Why don't you have a race? What is this bullshit? Wait, white, what does that mean? Where is my Atlas station? Where am I right now? Am I here? Or is this where I'm going to? You gek. Let's just have a side quest to Corvax. Discordant, not dissonant, I see. Discordant interface. So any Corvax monolith, there should be a discordant on interface. So it's nothing to do with Atlas. Oh, you got it. Oh, no, no. Pirates. That's I need to kill this. Right, I need to work out where the engine is. Because apparently I never kill the engine. And if I was going to shoot something, I think this is the engine. Can I shoot this? But the shield wrap. Can I get in the shield and then shoot it? Okay, that looks like engine. I think I found it. Like a god gamer. Now we go kill all the shields. Um, stop shooting me. Yes, this is what we're talking about. You want to play with me? Then I need to turn around and kill them once more, because for some reason you need to kill them twice. Yeah. I don't know if I need to kill all the weapons, but let's start with this stuff. Go for round two. Over here, apparently. Well, hello! Shield generators taking down. That's quite fun. Question is, what next after this?
probably recharge my shields. I must admit, they don't seem to damage me very much. Like, you'd think this would be a bit more scary. But actually, so far at least, they tickle me. Okay, so what now? It's gone silent, the engines are down, the music's just stopped. I just got units. Like, have I completed this? Can I board it now? Where does one board one of these things? What if it's an S-Class? Crap. Do I take it? Do you, uh... Is this how we get frigates? Oh, I'm being held. Greetings, traveler. Do you exp expand your fleet? You also be a starship. This is a pirate frigate? A pirate frigate for the very first time. I will take it for the very first time. Just have a look at it and see what it's all about. My very first pirate frigate. Okay. Now, can I land on this thing? I suppose the next thing is where's the damned... Wait, I can get another pirate frigate. Okay, so they've got really good combat stats. 28 for a C-class. I'll take another one. Is there any downside for having these frigates? There must be a door here somewhere. Right, let me just go slightly further away and try and work out what's what. Because this might be my very first pirate freighter. Where does one land? Right, this must be the bottom side of it, surely. This must be the top side of it. And there's a ship. And... Where's the damn door? Is there a do Is that the door? The door! Found it! We're going aboard. I've never done this. Never been on a, a pirate... Greater. And we've done it in Hudless for the very first time. I don't want to see the class yet. I want to go find out. What if it's an S-Class? What if it's not an S-Class? Do I want one of these? The only downside with one of these is... Don't they all look the same? Oh my god. Oh my god. Rather red. Rather pissed off, aren't they? 12X. Of course they are. Hello, Mr. Parrot. You've been defeated. I defeated you. The commander begs for mercy. I may name my price. I can get a tribute or I can seize the dreadnought. It's a B class. It's worth 186 million units. Interesting. So I guess I would do this battle until I found an S class. You didn't know you could have pirate frigates? Well, apparently I have pirate frigates. We're going to go find them out. We're going to have a look at them, actually. I don't want to get a B-class. does look cool. It slightly annoys me that they're all going to look the same. But I tell you what, it looks bloody cool. If we get an S-class, I think I'll take it. But it's not an S-class, so I'm not interested. But I do want to demand... I demand tribute, you pirate. What do we get? The outlaw resiliently empties their coffers. Right, I got units. Bit boring. Did I get anything else? Okay, slightly disappointing. Not gonna lie, I'm not actually sure what we got. Is this what I got? Contraband. I don't know what we got. I didn't get this. I think I got a cargo bulkhead, actually. That's a bit boring. Do you literally just get units in cargo bulkhead like regular freighters? That's very boring. They should have something different. You tried to shoot your way out not realizing it was Pete's. <laughs> so you were shooting Pete. Interesting. Right. Let's go have a look at my new pirate frigates. I might go walk around one, see what it looks like. I hope we can teleport to them. We also have the chance of having a look to see if this is an S-Class, because this is the one I rescued. 
I don't suppose we get a reward for rescuing you, do we? I suppose we go say hello. I rescued you from pirates. I want my tribute, please. It's actually funny doing this in Huddlers, because like you literally don't know what you're getting, what rewards you get. You don't know you don't know anything really. I didn't know what I was supposed to shoot. But we found it out. So there's engines at the back, the shields along the thing, and then it, that's it basically, isn't it? And it doesn't seem to do that much damage. I don't suppose you're gonna give me a reward, are you? No. You literally You're not grateful at all. I just saved your life. Saved your whole fleet. You should give me tribute, damn it. God's Kovax. They're, they're just so arrogant. They think they know it all. Fine. Right, let's go have a look at my freighter and my new frigates. Because I've never seen a pirate frigate before. I also don't know what it does. But it seems to have really good combat stats. Whoa, I almost crashed. No, wait, what? I can't, I mean, I'm not in a regular Corvac system. I'm in a different Corvac system. Okay, we need to go to a Corvac system I can actually use. Corvax? Right, let's come here. Hello, Douglas. Still a day behind playing catch up. Still be, you've been watching. <laughs> God, you're a true fan. I don't know that anybody else watches all my streams. You could already always skip one. I know they're very entertaining and lots happens. Wait, what? What system did I go into? I went to a green system. Brilliant. I went to a green system. Can I stop going to green systems, please? I need a regular Corvex system that's not a color. Gek! Go away. Gek! God, I'm being infested by the Geks. Viking? Gek? Gek? Corvex. Come on. Surely we can <laughs> find a system to explore. It's amazing how much different stuff we end up doing. Like today I've killed a pirate for the very first time, a pirate freighter, in Hudless. We've picked up our very first Hudless freighter. Like, I've played this game so long. I mean, to be fair, the new content. I keep starting new games. But we also gonna go find Atlantid Multitools for the very first time. We're also completing a Huddless version of the Atlas quest for the very first time. And given I've done so much, I'm going to do it anyway. Even if it doesn't give me anything. Although apparently I can hand in wonders for bonus nanites, which seems bizarre. Right, I want to inspect my frigate fleet and have a look at these brand new... Please tell me I can teleport... Oh, they look colourful, don't they? Raider. They've got separate stats. Pirate frigate. And you could teleport a board. God, they've got like ridiculously high stats for combat. Why do you need combat? I suppose this has got 31, but this is A class. I guess my C class has 25. Okay, maybe they don't have that good of stats. Now I'm conflicted. I was going to go get a full organic fleet, but these raiders look impressive. Right, firstly, let's go have a look at them from here. Well, hello, fishes. Can you see the raider? Want to have a look? Let's go to my stairway to heaven. See if I can get high up and spot the raider frigate somewhere. Stairway to heaven. Look at that. It's a solar ship. Okay, where are the frigates? Am I going mad? There's no frigates here. Like, I literally just got them, so they can't be on a mission. I don't understand. 
Maybe the loo down. Really? I, I'm not going to fall off this into space, am I? Slightly scared. Okay, where the hell are all my frigates? Well, where are my pirate frigates? There's a frigate. Wait, is that it? That might be it, actually. Looks a different colour. Okay, then we're just going to have to... No, there it is! God, it looks amazing! Do they all look the same? Why do they look so damn good? That is not a pirate frigate. That is probably regular combat. Wait, so do we go pirate frigates plus organics? But the thing is, if they look all the same, then it's not quite as amazing, is it? Let's go have a look. Ouch. That is not the door. Let's go have a look at the pirate frigate up close for the very first time. Something new to do in this game. Ultrasonic weapons, small hoppers, raiding specialist. The question is, do they look identical? They look fairly identical. They've got different stats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can you see anything different? Can't see anything different. Well, let's go have a look up close. Wait, are there pirate support vessels? Wait, are there different pirate frigates? Did I just find the combat variant twice? This looks amazing! I mean, the benefit of this one is you can actually go board it, whereas the organics you can't. I salute you! Let's go have a look around. I mean, I presume they break? I can't like to see one broken. You do anything? Apparently not at the moment. Now usually if something's broken, there's something... I wonder if like this would be damaged if it was broken or something. We're going to have to get a damaged pirate frigate to repair. Damn son. The radio is haunted. It sounds haunted, doesn't it? Frigates sound so eerie. Look at those wings. I wish I could see my build. It would be so cool if I could see my aquarium from here. That would be amazing. But I can't. That frigate's got to go. That is boring frigate. Hmm. So I guess one thing to find out is if there's different pirate frigates. I expect they're all the same. I expect they've all got the same stats. Right, what are we doing now? Okay, why am I being held? Welcome back aboard. It's an honor to serve with your fleet. May your plan to be plenty and your enemies scattered. Salute. Was that the guy here on this frigate, is it? Let's have a little bit of a look up close. I'm stuck! Not stuck. Let's have a look at my little frigate. Firstly, let's have a quick look if there's any differences we can notice. Because we've got two of them. The wings look identical. They've both got a landing pad with a nose. Do the same. I mean, they look pretty identical. 
Are they the same at the back? Yeah, looks looks like they're the same. But damn, they look better than this crap. I mean, look at this crap. Although I suppose you can't get different colours. Wait, what if you can get different colours? Probably not. They all look the same. Yeah, I don't know what I feel about that. I mean, they do look cool, but... Unless we did a pure, all pirate frigate playthrough. Where every single frigate's a pirate frigate. But then all the stats are like combat, aren't they? Then you would suck. Look at that nebula. Damn! Wait, why have I got a filter? Now this is a picture. Space station, nebulae, pirate frigates, and a custom built ship. Not bad. They're all the same colours as well. Yeah, I don't know about that. See, I love that they add new stuff. But when it doesn't have variety, when it doesn't have anything procedural, then it just gets boring very quickly. Like, it's really cool now because it's brand new. Is that a heart? <laughs> I thought that was a heart then. Just a stripes. Yeah, I don't know. I wish you could get like slightly different variants of them or slightly different colors or something to farm. Like at the moment, that's it. You could get the whole fleet like that just so they look cool. But they'd all have bad stats then because it'd all be combat. I could get an assortment. Maybe we could go half organics and half pirate fr frigates. And then we have the pirate frigates for combat. So maybe it's the third. I could have a third of the fleet supports, a third of the fleet organics, and a third of the fleet pirate frigates. That might look cool. And then our... Hmm. That, no, that, that balance wouldn't be right. Or two thirds organics, one third pirates. So you've got combats and then explorers and industrials. Wait, but then you need trades. Wait, how many do you need? You need trade, industrial, combat, explorer, plus minus support. So there's actually five, but probably four. 25% pirates, 25% supports. 25% organics. No, that doesn't work, does it? Hmm. 33%. Maybe a third of each. Oh my god, whinge, whinge, whinge. What are you talking about? What am I whinging about? I'm just ruminating here about my, my frigates and my fleet. That's not whinging. That's thinking, considering, contemplating, wishing for better. Is that whinging? Oh well, I'm a whinger. So what? Live with it. Right. We are in the Korvac system, and we wanted to go to a Korvac planet to have a look from Monolith to check out Atlantid Multitools for the very first time. So I could fly around until I find a Monolith, or we could scan for a Monolith. And I'm going to land on a planet without knowing what the creature table is. Like a pleb gamer. Probably going to be easier if I just land and scan for my life. Now that's a pretty landing. Am I whinging? That's not whinging. That is a photo. Right there. So it's... Oh god, it put me underground! I don't want it underground. 
I'm whinging now. You screwed up my photo. Why is it taking me down? I wonder... Right, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to F12 right now. That's the picture I want. Beautiful. Picture captured. I'm satisfied. Right. I want my Colossus. Because my Colossus has a scanner. Boom. We will scan for Monolith. Thank you very much. Slightly surprised we're not seeing a creature. There's a creature. I need to be careful that I don't start whinging about creatures. I'd be criticised. Right, let's see if I lock on to a monolith. Couldn't find out. Have I not noticed these Atlantic multitors? I've been to many Corvax monoliths already. Am I just missing them? Do I have to complete the event? I'm being scanned! But I've also definitely locked onto something. Please don't be a pirate. I'm busy here. It's a pirate! Is this a monolith? How is this not a monolith? Really? You screwed up my landing! Curse you pirates! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We cast pirates. Where's your buddy? You come and attack me, you little diddly weak ones. Okay, I don't quite understand because I thought I locked onto something. But Let's try again, I guess. I'll be getting some great photos, one of my favourite things about this game. I do love the photo mode. And it's actually way better than some other games. Wait, what was the other game that we were trying to take photos in? Starfield. Starfield had a terrible photo mode. Which is a shame, because like, taking pictures is kind of fun. Is that locking on? I mean, surely that's locking on. No? Your sea drone is clod chockers with no man's sky fix. There's a outpost. Okay, why the hell have I locked onto an outpost? I mean, it didn't lock onto the outpost, but why the hell does it feel like I'm locking onto something? Right, let's have a look at the outpost then. I'm not even checked the creature table yet. But there's a creature. It's a pretty planet. Pretty plink flowers. A traveller. So I could get a glyph. But why would I get a glyph when I'm going to get all the glyphs for free eventually by completing Uri Atlas questline? Uri Artemis questline? I thought it was Artemis questline, but somebody told me it was Atlas questline. So now I'm confused. It's been a long time since I've done it, so I don't actually remember. None of that is what I want. Let me try again. It must be here somewhere. This locking on business, sometimes it feels like it's locking on and it's not actually locked on to anything. I don't know what's happening. Other times it locks on just fine. I don't know what's happening the times that it locks on. It's like it literally pulled me across the planet. So it was locking on. I mean, look at that. That is locking on. Is that locking on to my freighter? There's the space to... It's locking on to my freighter. I'm an idiot. I do this so often. Why do I do this? Summon my freighter behind me so I don't lock on to it. And try again. 
Also knows this is a space station. This is in the middle. Is this going to take me back to the same outpost we were just at? I mean, that has to be locked under something. Has to be. Amalith, we found it. Like a god gamer. Right, why are we doing this? Atlantid. Dissonance. No. Dissonant? Wait, what? Something different. Let's learn a word. So what am I supposed to click on exactly? Is it this thing? Do I have to complete this first? Wait, what if I'm not supposed to complete this? Crap. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trapped in time. Numbers on my motor door seem to tick higher and higher. The closer I get to money, the more disturbance is added to the timeline. Touch or move? Surely we need to take pin. Did I just fail? I might have just failed. I can reload and reset. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Maybe I needed to complete it for it to be here. Let me just reload and see. And out. Uh, discordant, that's the word. Dissonance, discordant. All the same, isn't it? Well, let me leave the HUD on in case the HUD is needed. Because for some reason it's not. Come on. Yeah, man. Oh no, it saved it after I failed. Wait, what? Did it? I'm getting a million messages now. Wait, let me. I probably loaded the wrong save. Hey, the the one before we complete it. You can't do it as you haven't finished Atlas and started the dissonant one. Discordant one. Okay. So Pete has always said. That I need to complete the atlas first. But then Mihal or other people were saying I don't. So. Probably Pete's right. But let me just. Try this again. Which should be the same one. But instead of touching we move away. And now we've definitely completed this. And does anything change here? Nothing. So this is just regular monolith. But I think Peter's Peter's onto something here. Why did we not trust Pete all along? Of course we trust Pete. Why am I doing hudded zoology like a pleb gamer? I mean, Necro? Why is there so many creatures with the name Necro? There's got to be, like, there's got to be something in their naming system for creatures that has the word Necro. Like, I don't get it. Now, what is the, the pain? What is the punishment for landing on this planet and testing Pete's theory and proving him correct all along? Yes, a rare underground, of course. Of course, this is what we expect. At a punishment. Punished to the max. Enjoy our punishment, Pete. We've got a rare cave creature to find. On a planet with no caves next to the monolith. An opportunity for me to collect some savvy status. We'll take the winds where we can get them. God, that's the wrong one. Come on. Okay, why am I keep switching to the wrong one?
Can I help you, please? Right. Other than the rare cave creature, what were we still missing? Fire. Bird. Not that bird, apparently. Right. Hotspot. A B class and a new class. Alright, let's go for a little fly. See if we can spot a cave. You have to go to a monolith. You thought it was a reward for completing the Atlas quest. But it sounds like it's something that you get only once you've completed the Atlas quest. You basically, you don't get discordant Corvax monoliths until the Atlas quest is completed. And you jump galaxy? Question mark. A drop pod with a potential cave? Don't mind if I do. Come on, cave creature. This is perfect. Nice little drop pod with a nice little cave. Surely. It's not the best of cave entrances. But I will take my suit slot. And I will save the game. I'll have a quick look around for bird. And be disappointed because it's the wrong bird. And I'll casually wander over to the cave. To look for my rare cave creature that is not here, apparently. Why, hello, cave complex. Beautiful pink cave. With a cave creature inside. Well, hello, sir. A rare cave creature spotted instantly. God gamer in complete action. You're welcome. Right. What's this, then? Diurnal bird being the creature that we're missing. Spotted. Easiest punishment of my whole entire life. Give me my right creature of the planet. No, 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 no. Okay, it's you. Uh, I'll give it for your cheeky grin. Creature of the planet award. Easy. Right, enough distractions. I need to get back to the damn Atlas quest. Where's my ship? That's not my ship. Wait, where is my ship? Why am I getting a bug where it says 100% charged and then it doesn't let me bloody get the ship? Like, this is just not on. This one I need to scrap. Actually, there was a space station nearby, wasn't there? Surely I can get to the space station nearby without being attacked by pirates. Surely. Scrap this bad boy. Get myself a storage augment. I must be almost done, probably. I, I can't actually remember how many how many of these we need. Maybe one more. I think one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten sounds good. Maybe twelve. Probably ten. Maybe twelve. How many glyphs are there? There's sixteen, isn't there? Surely it's not sixteen. Ten. I reckon ten. Right. Please don't be an S-Class multi-tool after all of that, please. Pretty please, pretty please with chair on top. Kill, stack. Kill, stack. It doesn't stack properly. A shop to sell. What do I need to sell? Stasis devices for plus 2%. Tempting. I mean, I don't need the money right now, so I could just save them until we get a plus more. Evergy. You can go. An echolocator. 
And did I see energy bills? I did see energy bills. Right, time to buy some energy bill reserves. How many can I buy? All of them. Right, we got an energy bill reserves. Time to buy A class. And that's my ship. Time to scrap A class. For storage augment. And I should have done this before we went to the shop, because then I could have sold everything. Beautiful. Where's my ship gone? There it is. Do I have any of the ships? So I still haven't fixed this damn explorer. I need to go to the Nexus at some point and sort that out. Wait. Storage augment. Surely. Upgrade. Give me... We what? My tech's been busted. The ship's broken. I didn't know. Damn you, ship. This is one of the scariest things in Permadeath that they've added, where you, your tech breaks mid-fight. I mean, that is scary as hell. You lose all your tech. Sulfuring gas, please. No. I take batteries. I don't need oxygen. I take underwater protection, and I take a chart. I will then donate the chart, and I will donate the treasure. And I would donate another treasure. Wait, does it only take my treasures? I need to give my treasures sometimes to change them for funky treasure names. Right, business complete. Business complete. On to the next Atlas quest. Ten seeds. So this should be the very last one. Make sure the quest is active. I don't know why it keeps taking it off that quest. Ouch. Right. Maybe final Atlas quest? It's very close. Atlas Atlas quest almost completed, probably. To unlock Corvax. Discordant monoliths to farm Atlantid monitors to get hold of technology for infinite cloaking? Question mark. I still haven't found out. Is that a glitch? Because somebody was saying that's a glitch. But why don't we just trust Pete? Because Pete just knows things. He's very particular about this kind of stuff. He's what we call a god gamer. But actually, not like a fake god gamer like me, but like a real, genuine, in the flesh, knowledgeable god gamer. <laughs> right, where am I? I'm in the Atlas station. Don't quite know why we're getting this imagery again. Like, why does some of the Atlas station have weird, like, people floating? And this one's just got a floaty ball. It wishes for me to bay. If I have to hold the power of creation, it will be in chains. I bay. I am gifted power. I am enslaved to the imitation of life. The heart of the sun. That's the final one, isn't it? I haven't summoned my freighter, so I can't make it yet. But surely that means I need to still go to another Atlas station, no? Let's find out. We're just clarifying your expectations of when you get in the multi-tool from the Atlas quest. <laughs> I mean, what happens, happens. We'll find it out along the way. Right, freighter. Potential red lush. No, that's not a lush. Surely not. Right. Out of the sun. 
Heart of the Sun. This one. We oh God, they're in the bloody wrong order now, aren't they? No, no, yes. No, no, yes. No, no, no. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. They're in different orders. Why do they change bloody orders? I'm getting confused here. Is that 10? That's not 10. Crap. Is it 10? It is 10. It's not 10. I've got two of these. How did I end up with two of these? It goes red. It goes blue. It goes yellow. It goes this one. Oh, God. What have I done? You become... What am I missing? Got this one, 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 got this one. Modified quanta. Is that the one I'm missing? No, I've got that one. This one I'm missing. There we go. You to you to you to you to possibly you and then I don't know what the order is but whatever we have ten. Oh, that's the heart you're the wrong blue one oh whatever right final at the station question mark Okay, why has it gone off the Atlas quest? Surely that's not the Atlas quest completed. No. Create the Heart of Sun. Done. Locate the final interface. The final interface. In a Corvax scientific system. Didn't want me to be disappointed. Well, I mean... It's okay. I mean, what I don't know, and I still don't know if I've missed it, is will I end up getting a infinite cloak? Because that's why I'm doing this whole damn thing. And is that just a bug? Or is that actually intended? They start collecting these damn echo locators. Can I send this to Freighter? I can't send it to storage, can I? Right, the final at the station? Question mark? Is there anything here? I don't remember this. This is different than usual, isn't it? Oh, is this the time that we get to choose? Wait, are we going to another galaxy now? Am I creating a new planet? Are we spending a wonder? I can't remember. I can't remember how this works. Does it matter if we go to another galaxy? Why is it so dark? Have I gone the wrong way? No Man's Sky. Okay, I can't interact with it. Okay, I can't remember what to do. Why can I not interact with this? Do I need to turn the HUD back on? Is it bugged? Did I, I just went the wrong way? I mean, surely this is some... Is the quest bugged because I've got the HUD turned off? This is annoying. I'm going to just let all these messages pop by. Okay, so maybe I could just had to... Oh, do you have to speak to them in order? Is that what it is? You have to speak to them in order. That's what it is. But 
Should I have told that with the head on? No. But now we know. Whisper the sea's pristine. Okay. Okay, it does go in order. I was going to say, is it not going to go in order? Oh my! Spread my seed. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm glad Anna's not here. She would pick up on that straight away. Beautiful, beautiful. Dark matter. Not be named. Dawn's end. The Atlantean Multitour and Atlas staff both have runic lens that allow you to go invisible as I recall. Permanent invisibility was only possible by deleting the install cloak on those two. I guess we'll find out when we get it. Then take it from there. I mean Pete somehow has got got it, so somehow he's got it to work. Although if it's just a glitch, I'm less keen. It'd be nice if he's got some new fancy technology. Modified Quanta. You, sir, have been named. And now we go to the middle one. Oh, they light up when they're ready for me to talk to them. Good to know. I stand at the interface of the Atlas. I stand at the Forge of the Worlds. This is how it showed me what it was. This is how the Atlas shared the nature of its life, the workings of its mind. I never required prayer. It never required worship. All it asked of me, all that I ever wanted, it was just input. I was just a user. Wait, I've been used. It's not a effing glitch. Okay, I think Pete has spoken very, very firmly in the way that Pete, only Pete can. I think he's trying to suggest that we're idiots and he's a god gamer and we should respect such. Birth a new star or walk away and return to the galaxy. I mean, we've come all this way. Surely we birth a new star. Now, what's this about using up my wonders or something? There is nothing and then there's everything. I see a star blazed to life with the void, the spread of life, planets, creatures to give it meaning. For a moment I am as the Atlas is. For a moment I am the creator of worlds. The fabric of time and space stands revealed to me. Black holes swarming from system to system. The Atlas screams. New technology unlocked. A priceless fragment of starseed. I can't remember what this does. Does this not just give you some like tiny pathetic shield that doesn't really do very much? Galaxies behold. There's nothing about wonders. Am I done? Is that the end? Can I make the star seed? Okay, where's the star seed? Slightly confused. Do I need to turn that back on? Is it bugged? Like, where is the star seed recipe? Like, I've not received it yet. Technology added to catalogue. Permanent King Cedar of Worlds completed Atlas Path. Star seed? Okay, so where is the star seed? Hello? It said added to catalogue. Hmm. 
find a wonder to show the atlas. So this is new. The atlas has created infinite stars, infinite worlds, infinite life, but even among infinity, each moment still has its meaning. Any atom may see the new universe. Find an atlas interface and present a wonder. Wonders are recorded of your discoveries and can be found in the catalog. Does that mean I need to go to another atlas interface? Probably. Don't quite know why I can't make a star seed. Let's go find another atlas interface. Our uh, mesmeric. Have a good one, channel. So I can go to another atlas interface to start handing in wonders. So this must have been one they added the wonder catalogue that they added this little twist. It's kind of interesting because I guess many people don't actually do this because I presume most people stick to their main playthroughs. Question mark. Or many people glitch their Atlantid multi-tours to get permanent cloaking. Hey Pete. <laughs> Let's not irritate Pete. I don't think Pete's the kind of guy that takes well. Is that a lush? Is that an earthen lush, dirty queen? I'm going to have to have a little peek. This could be something good. Purple sky is not my favourite, but it's also not the worst. Trees. Blue water. Green water. I mean, it's not bad. Yellow tree's not the best. Hmm. Okay, Atlas might have to wait. Probably I should land here. Next to a cave, just in case. Fine, I'm landing. Earthen Lash. And do I have room to add it to my lander? to my wonder catalog so I can gift it to are these not extreme sentinels butterflies bugs bug beetle one of nine creatures birds and fish only probably hmm so it's not extreme Flyer, flyer, flyer. Rare underwater, eh? A potential wonder. For my aquarium in space. 27,000 nanites. I could start spending some nanites, actually. Is that beetle any good? Yellow and red. I don't like this head. Flying, 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 underwater, 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 okay. Oh my! Butterfly, eh? Blue butterfly, blue and purple, blue and lilac. God, they, they're loud. I don't suppose you could take me to the depths of the water, could you? It's quite pretty creatures, actually. Oh my. What colourful bugs we have on this planet. Not quite close enough. Come back! Oh. Get my bag. Yeah, I'm not quite lining up right, am I? Ugh. 
This is not the picture. Although this is quite nice. I'll take one. Whatever. Right, let's have a look at fish, I guess. Right, so there's three commons and there's a rare. It's a bit too sh shallow for there to be a rare here, I expect. And we're looking for really cool rare fish to add to our wonder collection. And it's not the cow. That is definitely not. Underwater freaking cows. Is that the first underwater cows of the playthrough? Freaking cows. Why, hello, jellyfish. I thought that was a crab, but it's a jellyfish. Are you any good? Ugh. No. Right, so it's rare fish, two flyers, probably have to get a bigger ocean, so... Keep collecting some... Say to first fit. Butterfly spotted. I must admit, ever since they changed the butterflies, they don't look as good as they used to. Some of the butterflies used to look very unique, but they, now they've got a weird flying animation. And they just don't look as good. Bit of a shame, really. Oh my! No way! An NPC with a ship with possibly the wings I want. Are you the wings I want? Is that the wing I want? Maybe. I have nanites to spend. Pleased to meet you, sir. Right, what do we want? Yes, I'll take a mining beam. I'll take launch thrusters. We're skipping on scanners. I'll take a live support, I'll take a hazard protection, and a hazard protection, I'll take a movement. Take a shield. Take a hyperdrive. Take a pulse engine. And go on then, I'll take the shield. Take every bloody thing you've got. Because I'm a god gamer. God, that was a lot of nanites. That was not worth it. I didn't need most of that stuff. I will also buy your ship, because I think I want to scrap it for the wing. Thank you very much. I've totally emptied you of all your stuff. And got my own stuff. Which I'll have to sort out another time. Right. Now I wanted a ship. Yeah, I'll use this temporary ship. To go find a big ocean. I like this little wing. But I want symmetrical wings. Then I want to make it black and gold. Let's see if we can find a rare fish. This looks very strange having just one wing, I have to say. I don't like this at all. Some people like unilateral wings. Please give me an island. Really, please. Right, come on, one time give me a wondrous fish for my collection. The thing is, it can't just be any... Why did I just waste a warp cell on this ship? Idiot. It, it, it has to be like a nice underwater creature. It can't just be any rare fish. It can't be any whale. It can't be any shark. It's got to be like one with a pretty pattern or something. It's not the jellyfish. It is found anywhere on the planet, isn't it? Always active. Is Star Seed in Sorbal Tech maybe not a blueprint? Hmm. I remember back in the day that you used to craft it. I don't know. Where would you get it from? And I, I should have had it added to catalogue. A shark! Are you a good shark? Ah, oh, you're a good 
shark with a pattern and everything. Okay, add to wonders. You've been promoted to a wonder. Now, who do I sacrifice? Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Sorry, Red Beetle. You've been replaced by a shark who's going... Uh, that needs a name. Mm, I don't know. What, what, what do you call a shark? Sharky. Hello, Sharky. You're going to be added to my space aquarium. Wait. Wonder. That means I need to go farm an organic frigate. I don't have time for that today. Right, I, I, I owe myself an organic frigate. Let it be known. That's another job we have to do. I want to go f find this last bird. Oh my god, not again. I just spent all my nanites. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of lost. Oh, the sunset. What a pic... Oh god, that's just so good, isn't it? I mean, look at this picture. Look at this. The little explorer on the island. Little sunset. Perfect light glare. These magical moments that happen. Okay, I kind of want it without my... Nice bit of glare. I mean, this is like, this could be a thumbnail. Ask Pete. Probably should ask Pete, but Pete probably is pissed at me because I... Wait, what? Why is Pete pissed at me? Because I... What have I done wrong? Because I believed in glitched technology for too long. <laughs> The one time we get a nice picture in a storm. It's a shame it's not my actual ship. But hey, hey. Are you installing your technology section? That's it. That's what I'm doing wrong. It's a technology. I said it was a technology because it gives you like some stupid shield bonus or something, isn't it? Bird, please be the one. No, you're not the one. Is it just a bird? I can't believe we got such a good shark with a pattern and a spiky on top and a little afro. This is a good shark. Common flying bird. Oh no, it's going to be the flock of birds, isn't it? It's going to be the common flock of birds that's always goes invisible and you can't find a damn thing. I mean, I can't give up on a wondrous world. <gasps> we, we possibly... Damn it! It disappeared! Was it scanning? It must have been scanning. Did anybody see what that looked like? Was that just a regular bird? Got you, you bastard! Found you! Give me my nanites. Creature of the planet. Why did this name it? When I added it to wonder, normally it doesn't. Damn it! Oh well. You missed your Creature of the Planet Award. We give it to you in faith. Right, I need my other ship, is what I need. And I need a star seed. There we go! I need a freighter. Now, what do you actually do? doesn't even say what it does. Does it do anything? Why does it say 50? Does it buff anything? It literally does nothing. What's the point of this thing? Let's find out, shall we? Let us find out. We share the screen. We go to our directory. We go back to get to our search. And we look for star seed. And we click on it. We find out what the hell it does. Plus 20 core health. Really? 
Is that good? That doesn't sound good, but how much health is... Hmm. Is that like one health? How much health does it give me? Does it give me a bar of health? Does it give me 20 bars of health? I don't know. Oh, you shouldn't listen to what I say. I don't know a thing. And I probably just misunderstood what you were saying anyway. Just tell me. Right, what am I doing? We want to go to another atlas and hand in a wonder is what we want to do. But I don't have an atlas quest anymore? I do have an atlas quest. Let's go hand in... No, I don't want to hand in Sharky. What if I lose the wonder? Wait, do you lose the wonder? I'll give it a mineral wonder just so that we don't care if we lose it. That's probably the only wonder I don't care about. Well, let's go have a look. Here does one hand in a wonder. Because I have plenty. Do we lose the wonder? Do we get nanites? We've got 19,021 nanites. And sort out these things. We'll do that another day. We'll do that next time we load up. That can be a job to do. Sort out all my upgrades. Why, hello, Atlas Station. I wonder if it's giving me some cool message right now. Well, who cares? Let's go find out what we can do. Also, perhaps we've unlocked Discordant Corvax Multitools, but I don't know. The Atlas has created infinite stars, infinite worlds, infinite life. I cannot see them all, nor even truly begin to understand the multitude of existence. What if I want to see them all? I want to see them all. But perhaps even among these endless wonders, each moment can still have meaning. Any atom may see a new way, if viewed the right way. Present fauna, present flora, present planet. And these from my wonders catalogue? It presents what you discovered. I, do I even have this as a wonder? Any delta. I got 600 odd nanites. I didn't have a planet there, did I? I thought I got rid of the planets. I still have all my wonders. Okay, I'm slightly confused because it doesn't feel like you're presenting wonders. You're just presenting discoveries. For nanites. So basically, every time I land in an Atlas station, I can get 600 nanites. Is that worth? 600 is a reasonable amount, isn't it? It's got to be worth. If I randomly find an Atlas station, land, get 600 nanites. It's probably not worth a farm nanites that way. I don't feel it actually gave a wonder, though. It gave just, like, a random discovery. Oh, my. What a fancy frigate fleet. A mixture of organics and pirates and God knows what. God, there's so much to sort. Oh, no. I've got to do this again. I want to have them all. Do I have them all? To 
the same bloody one. No! What have I done? Which one don't I have? Got, got, got. Got. Got, got. This one. They just look too similar. No, I've got two of these. Disaster. Which one don't I have? Okay, this is slightly annoying. What do I... Date phaser, there we go. Beautiful. Just, just to say that we've done it. Right. Now... The only thing I could maybe do before we finish up is go to a Corvac system and check a monolith and see if it works now. This is a Corvac system. There is a red lash. But it's too far away. Let's find a monolith and see if we can find a discordant Atlantid multi-tool for the very first time. Dissonant monolith? Terrible filter? God, it looks horrible here. I'm punishing myself. Can you let me aboard? The butterflies are, uh, are making my colossus fall over. Like, this is ridiculous. How the butterfly so damn strong? Right. Oh, a flank cow. Only six creatures here. What's the damage? Ground, ground, ground flying. The damage is not bad at all. Okay. Let's see if we can lock onto the monolith and get my jazz rewards. This is what we've done the Atlas quest for. Should have gone to the lash, probably. I was lazy. I'm hungry. I want to go eat. But I gotta see a monolith. Oh, I didn't go far enough away. Wait. Summon the freighter in a different direction. Ooh, maybe straight away. Something felt like it locked on. Pirates, go away, please. Just don't bother. I'm busy. I should get that scan blocker. Spin my nanites. Right, hello, monolith. Wait, how does this work then? Does this work now? Do you do anything? Do I have to complete it first? Is there another thing to click on? Hello? Okay, this doesn't seem to be any different than a regular monolith. I have to say. Let's complete it first, in case that's what you have to do. Take pain, we're in a Corvax place. Half a unit? Surely I'm not supposed to take coins. Oh, thank God. Right, I've been blessed. Probably got a Corvax casing. But can I do anything else? Wait, do I click on this thing again? Oh, I click on this thing again! 
Now that's for locating portals. Okay, this still doesn't work. I am in a Corvex system. Have I still not completed this? I still haven't shown it a wonder. But what the hell were we doing in the Atlas? How do I present it the wonder? It took something from me. Find an Atlas inflation present a wonder. Wonders is a record of your discoveries and can be found in the catalogue. Did I have to choose whatever the wonder was from the list that it was? Oh god, I don't know! Okay, looks like I've still felled with this endeavour. What am I missing creatures wise? So probably I haven't handed in a wonder yet. I just handed in a random something. I don't know how you tell what a wonder is out of the list. I guess you have to recognise it. Maybe one of them's wonders and one of them's not. Present a fauna as most of your faunas are wonders. So basically I just presented the wrong thing. Question mark. What was I missing? Two ground creatures. Probably I'm just going to finish up now. I really need a break. What time is it anyway? Eight o'clock. I do with trying to have a nap. I have a long nap. It's a big chess match today. I like to watch chess sometimes. I'm into chess. And it's the candidates tournament. And it's the final. And it's a ridiculously interesting day. It's the final day. And there's four people competing to win it. And only the winner wins. And that makes sense, doesn't it? But, like, it couldn't be any more exciting if, if they planned it this way. So I may or may not stream, depending on how invested I get in. It's going to be a long... Having said that, I might stream because it will be very late and I need to stay up. Problem is, I'll always be so damn tired. Changing to night shifts, it's not easy. Kind of annoying me, I'm not seeing a creature. Nothing to do with wonders, I don't think. Wonders are just for nanites. But then why is it not at the monolith? It's not here. And the Atlas quest is still telling me to go hand in and wonder. Or will it always tell me to hand in and wonder? Do I need the Hadon? Is that what's going wrong? I've actually lost where the monolith is now. I was vaguely walking from this direction, wasn't I? Gonna spot it? I don't even know how long I was walking for. I was just casually. Need to start auto vage quest. I don't even know how to start it, to be honest. Actually, I don't know how to start it. Probably need to do like something on this dissonant planet, which we've been kind of avoiding. Right, I guess I'm going to leave myself on this planet, and next time we start up, we can start with a finishing off the zoology and sorting out my suit, which is filled with crap and a load of upgrades. And then. Probably visit another at the station and try and find a discordant. It's kind
kind of annoying me that I've flown away from this one. But I looked everywhere on that place. Hey, actually, let's just turn the HUD on. And just see if it's a HUD problem. Maybe I just don't see it because the HUD's not turned on. Got a gazillion messages. Cheating slightly. My ship should be next to the monolith, shouldn't it? Can I actually see the monolith? That's a root. No, it is a monolith. It just, uh, I hate that it pops out. Because like, I could literally be looking for this, but the fact that it, it just disappears. Ouch. And there's nothing to click on. What, like, what am I supposed to click on that's different? Hey, Anna. I'm afraid I'm finishing up. It's been quite the episode, though. Lots has happened. I'll try and tell you all, but I'm tired. I'm also trying to see if I can find an ant ladded discordant Corvex station, but nothing seems to be happening. And this just finds a portal. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working yet. Autoface needs Artemis completed and Settlers. I have not done the Artemis quest, so I'm probably going to have to do the Artemis quest. I would like to do the Autoface stuff because I've never done it before. Right, I'm going to finish up. I don't know. I can't find this discordant thing. I'm assuming that I've not properly handed in a wonder. I probably I handed in a planet, which wasn't in my wonders catalogue. I'm wondering if it has to be something that's actually in the wonders catalogue. Right. Have a good one, anyone. Everybody. Oh, by the way, we got a wonders shark. So, I'm owed an organic frigate at some point. So that's another job to do. So many jobs. That's no man's sky for you. Right. Enjoy the outro music. Have a good one, everybody. Okay, Caroline. Discordant needs to be after Artemis Quest. Okay, that's what we're missing then. Well, that's a future me problem.